Nah, the Strive matches, they're they're all off stream. At least I excuse me, at least I think they're all off stream. I don't know if he's gonna put like grands on stream or something. Strive was fun, I went two and two. And that nonsense. It was great. 
See, we got the boy who hasn't been to Encore in dumb long. Amore. He took a hiatus in competitive Smash, and now look at him. He's back. Chad Bod, Chad Facel here, and he's playing a brand new character. Ain't coming in with the monkey no more. No, no, no. This is your boy Amore. And we got Drolago, aka Govinda, the man, the myth, the legend, the guy who runs this venue. And he's still playing the nonsense ass Pikachu. Yeah, hate to see. I mean, this Pikachu's not bad, it's sick. But it is, it's just Pikachu. Ah, uh, do not stream. Ah, uh, rip. Ah, that's okay. Eeny, meeny, money, mo, pick your poison, run it up. Nah, no strive on stream. Huh? Yo, bottom left. Town of City starter? Town of City's a starter? Since when the hell? Ah, right, whatever. This is not what I expected. I did not expect that either. So both of them going in with characters I did not expect to, you know, see at all. I came with a, did you tell him to turn you on? So why are you wearing it? You know what? That is fair. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Jay, we got the Amoy Ike coming back out of retirement and the Drolago Yoshi. The good thing that he likes animals. James likes the tough guys. Alright, so I have not seen uh, Govinda's Yoshi. I'm used to seeing like Miles Yoshi come through and just tear and just tear up everything, you know. Alright, James playing the Ike is pretty calm, you know. Wants to get his nares in. Nice, but he's missing he hasn't uh, he's missing most of his nares. These full hop aerials, though, not a bad idea because Yoshi likes to be in the air, see what I mean? Just swat him right out, almost clipped him with that forward smash, but the egg after saving Govinda's life. Eat your eggs in the morning, people. They will grant you the energy. Huh? Zolago? Oh, yeah, Zolago. I'm used to saying Govinda, not used to saying Zolago. I don't even know where the hell Zolago came from, but uh, hey, we all, everyone got some attacks. Ooh, ooh, nice with the grab, chasing the air dodge. What up, Sailor Jess? Yo, Sailor Jess, I saw you hitting on my boy Kaz ATS. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on with that? Hey, Ryan, what's up? What up? Uh, so, what's going on right now? Uh, Govinda has a stock with an up, sma uh, up smash oh. that just barely killed oh, right off the ledge. playing Yoshi today? He is playing Yoshi. That's weird. Nice for her intercepting him from the air. Up air? Ooh. What in? Wow, okay. Yeah, no. It's actually pretty good. Cool. Right out of shield. Yoshi now. I don't know, man. He some, I, 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 I know he's had a Yoshi, but I did. I really didn't. I didn't think he kept playing it. Nice. I'm still gonna kill from center stage. Nah, that boy I, Ike with Ragnall is strong. From what I know, uh, he's been playing Yoshi for about a month now, and he's been really working on it. Nah, it's been it's been longer than a month. Nah, that, that's had from what I know. That's from what I know. Okay, so I will tell you yeah, that so it's been longer than a month. He had the Yoshi since, since like. Back. That's that's all I've been seeing him play, and a little bit of uh, Pikachu right now. Kaze's your bestie. I gotta talk to him about that. Cause that's my boy. <laughs> Ah, uh, but you know who else is my boy right now? Amore. Who, who did Boston? he used to play? Huh? Who did he used to play? Amore? Yeah. He used to play uh, DK Wolf. Yeah. It's, it's like so he went weird. from Wolf to Pichu. He went from Wolf to Pichu. Then he dropped... Um, I think everybody after the after quarantine just started picking up everyone else. Yeah. But it's like James was... Uh, Amore was having an issue because he wasn't having fun with the game by uh, playing just DK. Because after, like, Wolf wasn't fun to him anymore because, like, the character was lame. He's or, like, to play the character often, he had to play him lame. Okay. Um, then Pichu, that's a good option with the egg. Nice. You saved him. And then Pichu really just. Right you did save him. Who am I? I am local man Maddie. Yep. Ask Kaze about me. I'm the, I'm the boy. But anyways, uh. And then he went to uh, DK. That's for the longest. Really? Yeah. So he's been, he's been playing DK for like the longest time after like. Well, uh, also ban DK Banjo. But it's like, you know, Banjo isn't that fun. He's been so optimal now since. Because I haven't played any, any Smash since, uh, mm -hmm. since quarantine. So I'm, I'm pretty. Ooh! Yeah. Yes, sir! The one, oh the God. two, and the three, baby! Go. That's a nice way to start off the, the down. But um, the character that I thought Amor Amori was going to pull out was Falcon. Really? Because he, the, last he time we, Falcon now? the last time we played, Falcon was the one character that he was just like, yo, I like this character. I want to get good with this character. Uh -huh. And uh, it, it's because, like, he said it's from, like, the end of every game. He says, why am I not playing Falcon? It comes always down to that question. Why am I not playing Falcon? At that point, just pick him up. 
Yeah, yeah no, he has. He, he does Pokemon now. I'm pretty sure like he's been working on Falcon a lot. He like he oh. wants to get games with with Gatsby just to learn some stuff. I hope. But he, I hope he takes out Falcon right now. Yeah, I, mm, I don't think I, so. I, I want to see what he got with it right now. I don't think he'll pull out Falcon, but we've seen the Ike and I. Oh. He's now fun time He's is over. Fun time is over. You see the look. Okay. You see the okay. look. <laughs> he said it's time for fun. The fun is over, man. The, the Pikachu is here and the hat is off. See Pikachu don't wear no hat? Look at that forwarder catching upper string. Nothing. Hey, he wants to take him out of, out, of, out, of, out of bracket right now. Yeah, he, he does. Doesn't he doesn't want James to win. He, doesn't want, he, wa he wants to win. Yeah, you know he won't. All right. With, with everybody else in, in, in bracket right now? It's gonna be real hard for him to move. Oh no, nah, this I don't know why this training practice is kinda stacked. We got yeah. I mean Salad always comes to the training practice, but we yeah. got we got Cold, we got Noku, we got Gatsby. Uh who else we have? Uh Did Ace enter? Did Arrow you you enter? No, no, no. he didn't, didn't enter. enter. Alright, um, crazy. They still gotta play you though. Uh, who is it? Uh who else? James playing really methodical. One thing about James that I really commend him on, he's not a master. Oh, no, he's not. Uh, so if you Where's Bob Ross? Is, is, is Bob Ross, uh, he doesn't really like take the game that seriously anymore. Uh, so he's like, I guess you can call him semi-retired because st we still play and he's still like practicing with us. And he's still, he's still bust so, ass. So pretty much if something big comes back, he's, gonna, he's jumping back in. Yeah. Oh, so he, so he's he on will hiatus. He'll pull. He'll pull. Yeah. Right uh, indefinite hiatus. Okay. Nice. Uh, narrow offer. So one thing that would absolutely make a Amori's life hell is if, oh, as soon as I say it, he, Govinda goes ahead and do it. Yeah. I was seeing a lot more T-Jaws, but that Nair up air could DI. Yeah, the up air is kind of stale, so it's not killing. Find his way back on stage. Uh, keeping him with a down tilt. What are these up airs off stage? That is so rambunctious. He's, he's really trying this one. Yes, he is. Yeah. If it wasn't for that T-Jaws, uh, Amori would have been dead. All right, backer out of shield. You do not want to back face with Pikachu. You will find yourself clipped. Uh, Bad that, that, that was perfect. That was perfect chance for, for Pikachu to grab. Mm -hmm. I think I don't know. I don't know like how early like uh, up throw will kill Ike. No, not even up throw. Just try to get like a small. That's true. Ooh, Ooh, but that dash attack was so sneaky. Yeah. Amori getting that stock off, bro. Wonderful, wonderful plays coming out here. Getting him off the ledge. That's a twelve percent from that get up attack. Christ. Ooh. Right, missing out up missing out uh, forward there from the Who? Maddie? Yeah, he's letting me play. He's letting me commentate. Alright, so bet, 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 bet. Uh anyways, okay. So we're back in this. Amore is sitting on a nice clean 180%. Alright, but that up throw not gonna do yet. Ike is a hefty boy. Oh, come on. And now he has to like get through the Pikachu and gauntlet another, and dies to the noggin. Unfortunate. He's a red. He got a hard skull. <laughs> Apparently, you see how much, so many attacks Pikachu uses his dome for? He's forward he's air. Trying. Um, forward air, dash attack, down air. Uh, neutral attack. That's true. Pikachu's head is tough. Yeah. Pikachu, I don't know what kind of training he did, but I need a noggin like that, man. Ash, Ash needs to show us what, what he's doing. Ooh. Uh, yeah, no, Ash says, yo, speak up, Ash. Like, wh what you doing to Pikachu? Why is head so tough? <laughs> Why your head so tough? Full tackle, bro. <laughs> There's a whole <laughs> season for that. Ooh. <laughs> now, you're not wrong. Oh boy, Pika, Ike off stage versus Pika? No, oh. he charged and he just missed it. Just by unfortunate. Oh my oh God! My God. <laughs> Caught lacking. Right he, said, Caught lacking I had messed, he said I had a messed up. Let's 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 reset neutral real yeah. quick. Let me take that stock. Oh my goodness gracious! He got caught lacking in 4K. Yeah, OD, bro. Oh, sheesh. Man, of all things, this walk up down smash. Not even so decent. No smack. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, I go, uh, Drilago out here not putting the pressure on. Nice grab. Not getting much off it, though, but a forwarder kind of catch him uh, swinging recklessly to the ground. Ooh. Rolls right into that lingering forward smash. That move, is, that move pays taxes. I want y'all to know that. Every, almost everything in Pikachu's kit plays, uh, pays taxes. Yeah, just stand forward. He was just, throwing it. He was just throwing it out there. I, I mean, it's it's kind of free. It is. He's far enough where he, he might not get hit, but the hitbox is big enough where he can definitely hit. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Who was this here? Can you pull up the bracket on uh, on your phone? Or no. Oh, I don't have the link. I mean, I'll t I'll do it in a second. The banjo. I was not expecting this. Oh, Banjo? Check out Banjo. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> I, when I tell you this is, I mean, 
Yeah, it makes sense that he pulled his character out because you, good looking, it. good looking. It makes sense that he's. Oh, I have to fight. I don't know who that is, but That's I want to fight him. Cool. Oh, I'm seeing the ninth. All right, cool. Oh my God, Phantom Enter. Yeah. Holy sh. Oh my God. And James Dean had to fight. Oh, poor James. Poor James Dean. Oh, oh my bad. Poor, poor game Dean. Oh my God. If I beat Tenko, I have to fight a uh, Phantom. Oh. All right. So uh, so far, right so far this Banjo pick, not. Uh, it's kind of. Looking it's real missing, hard it's for missing him. a little bit. It's missing a little bit because like, he's trying to he's trying real hard to find his footing. He's trying to he's trying to be a little saucy right now. He's trying to he's trying to be a little like in his face, yeah. which isn't like that Banjo's strength. It's like, Banjo's you know. thing, but with Pikachu, it's kind of no, hard to do that. It's not, it's not really Banjo's thing. Banjo's Banjo's like a mid range zoner, so he's gonna like you know play that uh, game with his uh his grenade egg. Then he's going to pull out the Regal Blaster and just and control the zone with that. But it's kind of it, you don't really see Amore doing that a whole too much. Yeah. See him doing a lot more of the trying to get in and duffing the rat, which is really hard. Nice downer. That's been one way he's been getting That's his damage. That's what I'm saying. Like Pikachu's just really hard to get in on. Yes, he is. Oh boy, that wasn't true. Time to jump. Oh. Oh, Wonder Wing. Trying to find his way. Can't find his way through. Getting camped out by the Pika. There's the there Wonder Wing. Is. That's going to be Finally a way that uh, we're definitely going to see that taking a lot of stocks. Let's go. Vin is not very careful. Ooh, back out of shield. Can't approach Pikachu behind, man. It's not not safe with that move in, the, in his uh, repertoire. Oh, no. Uh, Mori trying to find his way in, trying to find a way to take the stock. We're going to come in with the Govind quick attack. Right Govind is just setting oh, the pace right now. Oh, 100%. Yeah, There's nah, absolutely he, like... He's trying... He's, He's just saying, he's telling him, yo, you got to slow down or I'm not going in. Mm -hmm. So either you're going to come to me He or missed a confirm. And, but the down it. smash That's there it. anyways. Yeah. Mori not looking too heavy. Can he get a down throw? Because I feel like, like if he gets the, down, the mix up out of down throw, it will. Yeah. It'll probably get. Ooh, trying to go for the drop zone fair. And the Wonder there Wing sending him across stage. Just a little bit more percent that would have easily killed him. Oh, 100%. Who the heck? Well. But, oh no, backer strength. All right, good DI from Amore. Almost died to that backer, backer, thunder. The backer, backer, up air, up air, thunder. That nonsense. How far, is that? How far do, the, do the eggs stay out? The eggs? Yeah. The eggs go for a while. They, they bounce a little bit, too. Ooh. I haven't seen anyone play banjo since he came out last one. Oh, I haven't seen a lot of banjo. I fought yeah. a couple of banjos, too. Really? Online or, or in tournament? Both. Really? <laughs> Oh, oh with the mash. That's the mean mash at 100? Yeah, I uh, mean, it's like, it's like, it's not hard to mash out of Banjo's down throw, but it's just like, just you can be buried cool. for a bit. Oh. The Wonder Wing didn't even kill. Tried to go for it again. He's trying. He's really trying. You know, I don't feel like there was anything wrong with the Ike pick, but this Banjo pick is not a... The, the Banjo pick is definitely not it. Not it. Now. Not it. He's not playing Banjo the way he's uh, the way. Like I feel like against Pikachu, you have to play ga Banjo pretty campy. Yeah, you have to um, be safe. You have to be safe with almost everything. You're yeah, you can't really just like because because look at his percent right now. Yeah, look look at the percent right he's now. He's lapped it in percent. Oh, oh. Most, bro, he's all of his almost. He has one wondering left. Will he save that or will he use that to just take the stock? Uh, he should save it. All right, back here finally it. killing. More finally finding a stock to take off. Oh, oh no. no, there's his last Wonder Wing. I'm pretty sure he tried using it all, uh, right off platform. Mm -hmm. I, oh, oh my, my god, god, the lingering hit from that forward smash. That is a problem. Alright, we got the up air, but no confirm after that. You could usually do that, I think, like up air, back air, or stuff like that, but um. Nothing that's coming out after that. All right, we get the back air, up air, back air. Nice, but trying to go for a little cute extension. For I, I really want a more to one right now. I, I, wanna, I want I, the I, off. I want him to win, and I don't want to see him bring out Banjo again. Yeah, me it's, too. It's but it's like not doing it against Pikachu. It's not. It's definitely not doing it against Pikachu. I mean, Banjo. I call Banjo. I put Banjo in the category of anti mash characters. Yeah. Give it Pik this Pikachu is a kind of a mashy character too, but it's like holy. It's, it's mash with a little skill, a little skill. It's more just like 
it's really hard to to do and to punish Pikachu's mashing because a lot of his moves are just really safe. Yeah. No, that's why I say a little bit of skill. A little bit of skill. Yeah. If, if you know what you're doing, it's mash all the way. All right, there you we go. Know. Got that wondering almost kill. Fine, at least. Just throw him. Can he get the mix? No, just jumping. Jumping all the way out of here. Run to fly with the Wonder Wings. Oh, please don't fish for it. You got two I more. I caught him, with, caught him jumping with the bear. Yeah, he has one more, not two more. Oh, I'm going to two more. Excuse me, not to play with that. Move, I don't see him more. I mean, I was about to say, I don't see him using down tilt as much. But as I guess it's kind of hard to catch his rat since he's not really staying on the ground as much. Oh, rip. Big rip. Banjo, not looking good. I don't think he should have switched up Ike. That's really my thing. Because it wasn't bad. He just SD'd one time. If he didn't SD, he would have won us. Yeah. Huh? I know. Yeah, it's, not, uh, it's, not, it's not up there. It's not it's, up there. It's not I don't there. appreciate it. I don't appreciate what you said, but you're right. It's not up there. No. Can't be mad if it's all true. You're can't, not wrong. You can't be mad. You're not wrong. I'm curious about who he's going to pull out next. Will it be Falcon or will we go back to Ike? Pikachu. Or maybe... Even okay. there it is. Yeah, there I knew there was not gonna be a DK fix. Oh but yeah. Falcon into this. Go into making speed. a face. That's speed. I mean, the speed will do something, but it's just like, oh yeah, it's Falcon versus Pika. He, he can control a little bit better with that. He can, but like, I don't think a lot of Falcon combos like they work well in Pika because you know, tiny I don't think rat. So He's too small. Yeah. Caught him jumping. Good 51 percent off rat. Already looking better than the last game. Yeah. He has a lead. See, look, nice. that's amazing percent. Oh, get your ass off stage. What you Let's doing? Let's go. Zero to death. <laughs> Armor. Nice. All right, so Omori just in total control. Oh. Tried to need the rat. Hit him with a little bit of his own uh, medicine of electricity. A little bit of sauce. All right, finding a way out of here. All right, now he has to do it back here off stage. Still keeping his jump. Nice. Up. Nice. Raptor goes right there on stage. Not Raptor, though. This Falcon dive. I don't know why it's called a dive, but he doesn't dive. He's Latches onto you. Hop throw, not gonna do it Honestly, just his, yet. His, his, uh, his down special in there should be down. Should be a Falcon dive. Falcon dive, yeah. Alright, the there Falcon go. dive gonna be the one to take it. This is a lot better. This is a lot better. This is a, this, this is a better game. We should have seen. seen this since the beginning. Yeah, it's like he just wasn't sure because, again, Falcon on Pikachu on paper is just a very, very, very terrible matchup. It it's not looking at it right now. I mean, no, like it's not that. looking at it right now because I'm always like, he has confidence in his character. Playing oh, yeah. a lot better. Had the read, but just the wrong punish. He's moving around, avoiding a lot of Grimmina's attacks. Uh, Milagro's attacks, I should say. Yeah. Nice Falcon Kick. What a, I like to call it the degenerate option when I just see Falcon Kick from the sky. <laughs> More if looking it for works, the it works. If it works, it works. That is true. Trying to go for the knee. Kind of ballsy. Nice cool, landing right behind, right behind him. him. Ooh, but Govinda oh. grabbing first. Ooh, good tag. Ooh, we nice missed tag, the dunk. Nice he should have been dead, but uh, I don't know how that. I don't know where the dunk hit box I think too there is. Nice parry. Grab the boost into up air. I'm going to hit him with the dash attack. Ooh, we keep our jumps. We keep the jumps out here. Let's go, Omore. All right, down trans. Govinda not punishing that Ooh, and getting hit by the rap Falcon dive. All right, running straight into the bear. Not a place you want to be at. Nice, still keeping himself on stage. Uh, now he's having a hard time just uh, landing right here for the Pikachu. Yeah. Again, the second he drops shield, there goes the bear. And Ford is going to be the one to do it. Okay, Govinda taking the uh, Delago taking the stock. Yeah. He has a, he has a oh, boy. lead at least. Whew. He should be fine for now. He, I mean, you, it's, it's Falcon versus Pikachu. Anything can happen. Yeah. Set him off stage. Nice. How did that hit him? Nice caught him That's jumping. It. That's all it needed. Nice catch. I didn't know you played baseball. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> oh, my. There's the oh, back of yeah. trains. Uh, the more, it's either Amori's DI is really, combo DI is really good to get out of those. Yeah, he's playing really confidently right now. It's not only the DI. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean about the, like, the, you know, the back air. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh boy, yeah. oh, boy, oh, boy. Nice tech. We got the. That can never be me. That can never be me. I'm already jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be jealous, man. Adapt, overcome. Good DI away by Govinda, but still find himself on a platform. Nice. Ooh, go tech chasing. But he's just going to sit there and F smash. I mean, why not? The move is really hard to punish. 
Alright, Mori reaching for that uh, Falcon Dive. Nice. Golasso. Let's go. Oh, he gets clipped by that quick attack. Oh, boy. Kofin, again, Kofin just keep letting these quick attacks, uh, not quick attacks, on these forward smashes fly. Oh, the more he still got the stage control going, going deep for that. He's, he's fishing for it right now. Ah, go, who? Govindo or Amore? Amore, he's fishing. I wouldn't say he's fishing. It's more like he's kind of just positioning himself. Why not that? Why no, could say. Think about it. Think about it. He, he's two stocks up. He's, he's a whole stock up right now. Mm. He wants to end the match right now. I know, but it's like if you're whole stock up, you don't need to be fishing. Yikes. There he got caught up. Pressing a bit too many buttons. And then Pikachu with a Pikachu with rage. It's kind of a scary thing. Catching a foul. Oh my goodness gracious. He went straight up. And there's the back of trains. He's holding in. Somehow living from that. Missing oh. the Falcon dive. And he's taking all this percent by this on his Pikachu. Falcon kick! From the heavens! Tries to dunk it. Falcon kick again going off. He's letting that trigger fly, baby. Ooh, he's trying, down he's to a dash attack. He's really trying for that one. Nah, he is. I mean, it's like, it will kill. And he really needs to kill this tiny little rat. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. He, he might be fishing. And that's going to do it. Is. That is going to do it. Yes, he did. He fell for I don't the know how Falcon's fell falling off <laughs> back here. But as much as I want to stay and commentate, uh, I think I should you like, go? Uh, not hold up the bracket and play my yeah. game. That's what I was going to hmm? say right now. Huh? You're next on stream. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, anyways. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's keep commentating. Yo, you have a, you have. A I was about to be like, ah, let me go play my match. But then again, uh, nope. Nope, no need. Uh, uh, yeah, he's sticking so with the unfazed. Falcon. He looks unfazed right now. Look at him. Who? Amore or Drill? Drill. I mean, yeah. So it's, it's Pikachu, bro, he's just thinking about like what he just needs to do against Falcon. Because it's not like he got clapped. He, he looks unfazed. He's, it's just unfazed. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he thinks that he got this game. Oh, it's on FD2. Yikes. Ooh. They picked the wrong Gerudo Mix, and I'm upset. They picked the other, they should have picked the other Gerudo, uh, Gerudo Valley Remix. But this oh, one's yeah. fine. Oh, going for the fair. I think that was a misinput. But all right. The real question is, can Govinda, I feel like Govinda's picking this stage. Govinda, I feel like Dulago picking this stage. He, because, he um, definitely picked it for no, for no plats. Yeah. So that he can't get he can't get comboed like crazy. Not just that, but it makes it harder for uh, Amori to find a place to escape when uh, he's trying to get away from the T jolts. Mm -hmm. Alright, Aubrey trying to catch him and get him with some cool looking combo. Nice stomp. Oh not, not at that percent to do the enough. Nah he's not high enough. He's not at a high enough percent to, to connect the beat. Just out of range of that F smash, baby. What are we gonna do with this footstool? <laughs> Why? Why did I just see a <laughs> You know what? It's okay. It doesn't matter. Think. It's funny. Try oh, he's trying to scoop him up with that up smash. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. And I need to, uh, both of them looking for the stock. Going to go in for the jab lock into the down smash. And just taking it. I'm already fishing for this up smash. <laughs> he did us it three in a row. I can't, bro. He usually runs the fucking mains are a menace. I think Amora is getting a little, uh, I wouldn't say desperate, but like he really wants he's to get the stock. He's getting anxious right now. Yeah. He's getting a little anxious right now. Want, he wants to stock, stock off the board, man. Still holding in. Ooh. Tries to go for the double dip, but not getting it. Man trying to, man trying to really fill up his uh, ice cream bowl right here. Double scoops. <laughs> oh, no. SCI? Whoa. No. With that SCR, did he just fall out? I know he just fell out. And he's dead. That's it. And there we go, we have our stock. <laughs> now the question is, playing neutral against Pikachu again. Can you do it on FD? It is definitely not easy. It's definitely tight. not. Ah, uh, missing his dare, but he gets the Raptor boost. Into the nair, nice. That's a good thing Falcon has enough, has enough damage to, to bring him back to percent. Oh no, he, he does. He can definitely like, maybe like one or two like Falcon interactions. But it's like, I wanna say, okay, I'm lying. Not one or two Falcon interactions because it's Pikachu and Falcon has raids, so a lot of his combos aren't going to work on this tiny little rat. And I, I think that shield poked him. Nice. 
Uh, every time you try to punch that quick attack, he gets back it right after. And forcing him off stage. But I feel like forcing him off stage hasn't given James, hasn't given uh, Amori anything but uh, a little bit of stage control. He's not, he's not getting edge guards. I mean, it's Pikachu. It's kind of hard to get edge guards against this, this, this rat. That kind of sucks because Drill's been playing this since day one and he pretty much hasn't been changed. Yeah, no, nothing's changed. I mean, so he just feels comfortable. The only, I he feel feels like, comfortable. Yeah, I feel like the only thing that hasn't changed about him in his play style, I mean, the only thing that has changed is that uh, he's, more, he's more willing to camp. Like, as you see right here. He, like, he, he plays more patiently right now. Mm -hmm. But Pikachu itself that would oh, not... Oh, that would have no. been sick. I see what you're going for. That would have been sick. That would have been sick. No, that ain't going to scoop like that. Good back here. All right, there comes the back of train. One He's more. Like going for three. Trying to punish it, but it's just not working. Govinda laying it on him. Ooh, the dare coming now. Moy needs to find a way to hurry off this ledge and just hurt Govinda, but it's it. not looking good. All right, a back throw will do it right here. Boom, send the rat out of here. And now it's time he has to try and just take this, take it. But it's, it's not easy. Oh my God, the grab was hidden. Ah, the here comes the back is coming out. Govinda still has the lead he needs. I just asked out to see if he wants to come to when you want to when you go on stream. Oh, okay, sick. Yeah, no, he's going right Wait. on the match. Oh, he still got signs of life. Not out of the woods yet. Okay, he does. He still has some lines. How'd that grab miss? Let's find a way to get in here. S Mass not gonna do it, but that dash attack cracking the knock in a Pikachu. That back here clipping him right there. Demori tried to definitely tried to shield grab his shield. Yeah. Order out there pushing him off stage again. Demori to find a way to do this. Jeez, it's like everything Pikachu does is putting Falcon into disadvantage, and it just he's, he's controlling no the stage way too well right now. Wait. Every time he gets a Raptor boost, I get scared. <laughs> No way! And that does it! Oh my god. <laughs> he held off. Come and he compose, and you will see victory. He held off on that one for so long on purpose. Wow. You know, you know he definitely held I off know on he that. did. I know he did, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Okay.
to commentate. Might as well train. Oh, God. Not the famous local Maddie. Uh, yo, I, I am here with my man, Maddie. Yo. I'm going to hit you. I don't think. I'm going to hit you. I don't, well, I'll leave you now. Sorry. Well, okay then. Oh, you want to? All right, everyone, get, you get Phantom today. Oh, you mean. You know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm genuinely learning to commentate too for my own students at home, so kind of piggybacking off of you. I, I was talking to your brother very much. You are a nice guy. Thank you. Your shoes, you are just rough around the edges of the game, man. So, let's see how you are socially, right? <laughs> huh? My head be tiny. Uh, yeah. But, what? Good? Technical? Mm-hmm. All good. I don't know. Okay, I know Welcome at Maddie. I don't know who Trenko is. I'm not gonna. Uh, lie. I know about Maddie. He's friend from outside, so I got you there. Tenko, though. Dude, I like how everything in this tournament is three out of five. Yeah, I mean really cool. it's for the sake of learning. But if you want to come here and play friends with your people, I mean you know what to do. Mm -hmm. Just get more time. Also, I think even for people who like already have a lot of tournament experience, something that you really need to work on is uh, mental stamina. Where it's really easy to, as you get through the bracket, you become more and more exhausted because you played even more, uh, you're playing more and more matches. And I think if you have a, a full best of five bracket, it really forces you to kind of spread yeah. out your mental stamina. It's also a matter of just the amount of people in the venue, because sometimes you can't even get that done. But if you can, by all means. Yeah. Pikachu? Okay. Ooh, Tenko's picking the Pika. Jimline? Yep. Roy, oh, he's I going think. Roy. Huh. All right. What, did he did he drop Tomb Link? What? Did he drop Tomb Link? No. I I mean I know it's a pocket for him. We were playing friendlies last Thursday after I lost, but I I know it's there somewhere. Come on, bring it out. I see you looking at me, Moy. Here we go. He's got the. Uh, Kind of rough for Roy a little bit. Uh, on the bright side, he's one of the sorties who doesn't really need to space, which uh, Pikachu can generally exploit that versus other sorties. But on the other side of things, he gets extra super hard and the fast always against combo pretty easily. And he's like kind of tall. In terms of damage output, though, you, the Pikachu player has to be hitting their combos in order to really keep it, up with. Uh, it seems Roy's like it's up. a very hit or miss kind of thing, you know. Ro oh, Ooh, man. bad angling. Seems like it's a very hit or miss setup where you you know you got a low problem, you gotta do your do your job or you don't get a job at all. Very nice. And he brings it right back on the socks. Yep. That's exactly what I was talking about. You are off stage, you get edge guard, Pikachu potentially with the best edge guarding in the whole game, and Roy with a pretty lackluster recovery. Right. Okay. Oh he's he's pulling out the nair loop. That's a fifty Ooh. off of I don't even remember what, but fifty off one opening is pretty strong. Yeah, it's it's a little too stupid. It's pro it's about reading the DI, though. Well, if you, you had landed you that up there, it would have gone longer. You don't have to read it. Uh, versus, I think, every character in the game, if you're, like, built different, you can actually react to it. Oh, uh, uh, really? But yeah, I, it's, I thought it's it was true at low percent. Maybe I'm I wrong. think it gets harder when you're uh, fighting certain characters. Like, I know versus Heavy, it's mad easy. I'm sure versus Roy, it's not, you know, like, the hardest in the game, but I'm sure it's a lot harder. Yeah. And this is the position where it's hard against Pikachu, because making a comeback against Pikachu is kind of difficult. Yeah, it's a little too fast, too furious, but it's all about finding that hit. Yeah. That was some nice spacing, though. He's Ooh! Uh, Matt, there he's we go. a pretty good job of avoiding the important... Ah, that was an up smash! Okay, he got the kill anyway. Yeah. Franco popping off mid-game. Franco seems to be a very emotional player. Seems like it. Okay, Are we about to find oh, a back air lift? Nope, you missed the grab. Okay, yeah. Now he's... I think he's trying a little too hard to hit a lot of his combos. It, sure yeah, I it's mean... Just, like, lack of experience or just on stream, but whatever. He's still, you know, with a full stock lead, he's doing fine for himself. Right, it seems like, he's ooh, weak, but, oh. Why? <laughs> Why did you, I mean, it worked. Yeah, it, I mean, you know, we take those, man, we take those. Definitely, uh, definitely, if you're Maddie at this point, it's part of your mind where it's early. I know if it's me, part of your mind is like, bro, Pikachu's crazy. <laughs> That's a fact, but that was... He was fishing for grabs. That was something yeah, I noticed a lot. Oh, yep, there's the Toon Link. Yep, the Tink coming out. You can never go back. 
If you really want to drop your low tier, you treat them like you're not like they're not in the video game. So even if you're down 1-0, still stay Roy. That's if you really want to drop your low tier. Welcome That's in, Maddie. Obviously, a. Uh, I mean, I respect this. I, I bring out the tinker against friends all the time. <laughs> they just never expect it. Back here. I mean, Tomb Link not with a fantastic recovery in his own right. He's dead. No, he's he didn't he steal the jump. Well, okay. Yeah. I just, I mean, he's dead. Like, I'm pretty sure the the distance on his spin goes farther. I mean, yeah, no, I didn't mean he's dead. Like he can't recover. I was saying he's dead. Like he's gonna get thundered and die. But uh, oh. go, I, a little slow. Come back to the stage. Just gonna uh, allow Look My Maddie to take advantage of this stock a little bit more. Yeah, it's a lot of small, fast speed though. So it's about two strikes first, strike hard. Ooh. I think the big, Ooh, nice uh, parry. That was a very good parry. I think the big thing here is that uh, now Lokuma Maddy has, uh, first of all, a smaller stature, uh, but second, he also has more uh, range tools, so he cannot really interact with Pikachu if he doesn't want to, and he's kind of abusing that so far. Yeah. I think he needs to be working a lot on these anti airs, though. Like, Tranko's is kind of jumping in on him a lot. And, uh, if both Ooh! Maddie has the off the line. stage. I feel close. Can he call off this? Hmm. Both these characters are pretty light, so in theory, you should, we should be seeing kills around this percent. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like no jump. He can five here. five weight units. He threw it. Yeah. Now can welcome Manny go up? Why Ooh, did you get up nice. Why didn't you hit it? <laughs> what? I think I think it was just normal get up. It's more iframes on that. Miss uh, throw. Nice. Ooh, let's try to see. Yeah, welcome Manny trying to make a lot of reads. I think if he just plays a more reactive game, he's probably gonna do a lot better. Downer, Ooh, nice yeah, that was a hard yeah. challenge, but. Top is vulnerable. Yeah, if you challenge that from the top, especially when they move like Pikachu down with a big hitbox, you're definitely gonna win every yeah. time. F Thunder jump and down ah, smash. So close. I didn't know that that hits ledge. Oh. Up it, smash. Yeah. yeah, now he's desperate. No, it does. He's he's for all funny purposes the uh, down smash and ledge character. <laughs> nice. Nice. Reed. Again, welcome to Maddie relying a lot on these jump reads. Um, is he I dropping the bomb? Is he dropping to reset the bomb's explosion? No, it's just he's doing it so he can do aerials while he has the bomb in his hand. Gotcha. Not for a second, it did. I'm like, wait. <laughs> no, that'd be crazy. Uh, all links would be crazy for that. It'd See, shenanigan. Tomb Link, not like the damage per hit with Tomb Link is so low versus Pikachu, where you don't I think he's hit many times. You really have to win neutral a lot. It seems like he is trying to play the long game, though. Because, you know, you want to play silly or you want to play serious. There's some shenanigans you can accomplish with Tomb Link, but I don't see them. Yeah, you definitely need like certain specific hits, and I think at this point, a lot of uh, like the most you're getting is like a projectile into like a forward air or an up air. Right. Nice. Fine. There we now go. Good space stage. out. Ooh, nice. missed kill. the boomerang no, though. He, I think Ooh. He actually read the forward air back on stage, but he's a little early, but he still keeps positioning. Right. Spacing is immaculate for both of them. On something Ooh. <laughs> Blew mm -hmm. himself up. And he died ah, for it. died for it. That's Damn. so sad. Hey, what happens to the best of us? Too bad I ain't those. with these jump reads, what am I Really insistent. Yeah. And I guess, you know, mm. Trenko Pikachu plays a hefty air game, doesn't he? He does, and Trenko's jumping a lot, but he's just not reading them at the right time. Thunder, <laughs> they do it every time, yep. I've never seen the bolt space like that. Wow, where was the up B? Up air was a good read, but it doesn't kill. Up air could have been... Uh, oh, right, Pika's invincible, Pikachu okay, is not. Okay, finally hits the jump read after yeah. like five or six attempts. <laughs> I feel like that nice. could have been a lot Ooh, earlier. I didn't never seen that. Up till <laughs> oh, up till? bomb in the mouth. Oh, ah, oh, the bomb. Oh my god, this is so weird. Did the bomb save him from that? Yeah, the bomb got him out of the uppie, but Maddie huh. actually converted to the air. Pulling out the Spider Man to cling to the side. Dash attack. Dash attack. Okay, Ooh, he tried to there. Or thunder jolt out of that's weird. He tried to hard read this quick attack in, which Trinko has been doing a little bit. Wow, what a cool. Ooh, attack. nice. That's Raw. Good. Respectful. I guess, you know, Logan and Maddie conditioning Tranko to stay on the ground with all those jump reads, and then he finally takes advantage. He cashes in on the conditioning, and he just forward smashes. That's exactly. Uh, a good good game plan on Maddie's part. Now it's 1 1. So, Lost go to game three. To Tomb Link. I assume Tranko will stay Pikachu. Yeah, and, I mean, there's no character lock, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't. I mean, you know, I think they're. I think the winner, from my understanding, the winner has to pick his character first. Yeah. So it's, now, you but know, you can change it. You can. You can. Someone, someone last week on Thursday was like, "Yeah, you need to, uh, you need to say your character." I go, I don't know, but okay. No, you do. You do. Uh, I mean, if if they ask you to, you do. Oh. Okay. Um. So we're taking it to town and city. Oh, this is town. Yeah, this is starter girl. They look the same, man. 
It all looks the same at some point. Ooh, up, up air to back airs. Can he kill Respect. Off no, nah, he, he could have, though. I Probably saw that happening. Probably an accidental side B, but it worked out. Trango's yeah. face kind of reflecting that idea. I mean, it's not like the shield stun isn't high. Ow, this is the hard part. Ledge trap and... <laughs> point arrow, arrow to the face. <laughs> I I say, you know, I know we're getting the me costume in less than an hour, but the same Skyrim, guys. Nice. Downer really... Uh, I mean... I probably ooh, two framed it. I feel like the plan there should have been to play lame, honestly. I think he meant to forward smash. I yeah. Think my Maddie kind of like recoiled a little bit when he got the jab. I think he meant to forward smash. That would have hit. And I don't know if. It, uh. Ooh, raw. Ooh. Nice. Yep. Punishing copies can be a little surprisingly difficult if you don't have good reaction time. So that was good on Tranko. Doesn't get the kill off it though. Forward throw. Up throw. Can't Up throw into those. thunder. That's what I think he's trying to hit here. Yeah, but I don't think that'll work at this percent. He, he did and it he with, tries with the uh, back end of the up smash. He tries to shield grab Pikachu forwarder. You hate to see it. Back air into back air into uh, back air. What's he going to do next? I wonder if he... Huh. Is he going to back air? Nope. Nope. Yeah. The I speed? don't know why he... Uh, uh, okay. Makes sense. And, okay, and then he back air. This has been 31% of just back airs. Hey, it down tilt. Into the grab. Yeah, he wants the yeah yep. he wants the, the up air chains, but he yeah, with the misses ball, one of them. <laughs> the damage off the up B, bro. Dude, and that bomb really messed him up. Maddie is getting oppressed at the ledge, and now he's getting jab locked. Forward smash. He stays on the ledge. Ooh. Maddie has not found the opportunity to, to play happen, the game in a while. Nice get up attack, stopping the F smash for a kill. Yeah. F smash is uh, really Pikachu's best way to kill you while he's uh, edge trapping, other than edge guarding. Yep. Nice downer. Downer has been putting in a lot of work for Tranko all stage. Even has. if he's not spiking, he's getting kills off the side. Yeah. Because again, Tomb Link's recovery, pretty lackluster from the top and in general. Yeah. Down throw up air. So up literally air. getting knocked off stage is a bad idea. Yeah, this is the hard part. You're down against Pikachu. Pikachu can just kind of camp. Uh, and you really, not a whole lot you can do about it. Right. Think, yeah, he's looking for these jump rings. This is like the only way Welcome and Maddie has gotten kills. Off his off jump rings, forward air and up air. Down, wow, okay, so he does that hit to the upper to keep stage, but he messes up the stage positioning anyway. Mm -hmm. He's dead. Oh, he's not dead. He's still dead off the edge guard, though. I'm calling it. Unless he throws it. He did. Death. Okay. Down tilt. He tries to up smash him. I don't. I. I don't think this is winnable. I think the rest of this game is a formality, uh, unless Tranko like somehow magically SDs twice, which I doubt will happen. Yeah, I mean, you know, we can take those. We can't take those that hard. It's just such an overwhelming advantage here. Up smash. I think Ooh. even at this point, this is a really good sequence. This is a really. Uh, this is an important thing because even though you're gonna lose this game. You started it, you got something started, which means you have some momentum going into the next game. If you just get completely shut out, then the next game can feel even harder sometimes. Right. Nice. Is it weird that I feel like a nest back throw would take care of this game? Uh, maybe. Yeah, except from Pikachu, but joke, all jokes aside. Oh, right. Yeah, that's fun. That's a fun thing you can do. And you're dead. Up throw. Yeah. Oh, right. Up throw, King. Smarter plans. Alright, so... I think he stays Toon Linker probably, I assume. I don't know uh, what else you can really do here. The Roy, which is clearly not the answer, but he, the Toon Link was putting in a lot more work. I think he's just, uh, I think he's getting a little antsy when he's at kill percent. Yeah. He's trying to force a lot of situations when he can instead play a little more reactive and be totally fine. Yeah. Oh, well, Tenko raid coming out. Yeah. <laughs> Chad seems to love Tranko. Yeah. Stay in the peak, uh, stay in the Toon Link. Okay. Let's see him put in the work, man. We see an essays in chat here, and here we go. Yeah, All right, bringing it to Smashville. Probably a smarter pick. Smashville is a smaller state. Uh, the big problem was that uh, Trinker was kind of running away with a lot of Thunder Jolt, but he had a lead, and I think by making yeah. the stage small, you can circumvent a lot of that. A lot of straight hits here, no conversions. Wow, wins the stare down with Uppy. Ooh. Tried to hit the two from like a bomb. Up B again. Up 
Huh. Ooh. Wow, that's did he combo off that? Was that a combo? That was a combo on I that. think so was more of a build a bear, it seems like. Up air. Yeah. Give him, give him the big old poke. Yeah, Kranko doing or playing a very patient game here. Yeah. Which, you know, I think Welcome and Maddie is approaching perhaps a little bit more than he needs to if, that, if it's an even game. Seems like he's adapted to the fact that T Tink was supposed to take it slow to the Pikachu, but now he's got to be fast. Or who can bait who first. Towards, oh, wow. That was like a frame before the Esmond came out. Yeah. Throws the bomb. Oh, he's going to the other side. Yep. Until I agree. Uh, I'm wondering why he, fo he Foxtrot instead of dashing at it and then just get down the stop. Try for the uh, yeah, up read. Ooh. In fact, that good. was pit, uh, horrible DI. That was a good catch, air, But the bomb keeps him alive. Yeah. Yeah, he gets to do this for free, and then he comes back. Nice tether. I would nice. definitely have up being gotten killed, but that was a really intelligent tether. And now he has safe positioning, and he kept his stock. Nice awareness. Can yeah. he get the kill off his positioning, though? He can't. Mm. If you're trying to ledge trap, he could do it. Percent's getting AKA high. Yeah. Really deciding about who's off stage first here. Ah! Tries to anti air him with the up smash, but Tranko, yeah. a little more patient, decides to instead just back off and then whip punish with the dash attack. Really good play on his end. Yeah, nice catch off Maddie the bomb. trying to, uh, I think, bait out the back air out of shield, but he doesn't do it successfully and instead he just yeah. gets back air. Threw out the up smash just to nothing. Nice, nice. up air. Nice on that with the hitbox being so damn big. Dash like controller, small percent, but you're ledge trapping Pikachu. He can just go back to the center. He has a jump, so he's not dead. Right. Throws the bomb, yeah. That's a really, really strong ledge option if Toon Link has a bomb in hand. And he gets to pull one while he's off stage, unless you're like hard chasing him. Yeah. Uh, which is something that we haven't really seen Trenko doing a lot of. It's a I mean, I'm repeating myself, but it's really just a game of who hits who first. I'm not doing it. Seems like all of Chad is rooting for Trenko, though. I ain't seen a single Maddie. You know, cheer over here. Forward air, that's death. Wow, he was at like 72 when he got hit by the bomb. Hmm? Okay, that's an unfortunate air dodge. See, the thing about that is uh, Pikachu's multi hits uh, don't always work off stage. So sometimes they're like, I will hit the shield button in case I need to tech or something, or if I need to air dodge, like when I get hit. So I don't, I die a little bit later. And then, and then Smash Ultimate be, decides to be Smash Ultimate. And then you die. Yeah. Smash Ultimate Pikachu, privilege in every way, even by accident. Yep. Order. Dash attack neutral doesn't work that time. I mean, dash attack and kill. Yeah, that's a pretty privilege. I'll, I mean, yeah, I'll say. He tries to Ooh. end his life with the downer, and it doesn't work. That was ideal spacing right there. Yeah, he actually took like 40 off that thunder. That was crazy. Yeah. Back air, he's off stage, but he has a double jump. Uh, and there it goes. Fine, Ooh, fine. nice. Ah, it doesn't punish the grab. That's actually I, so important. Yeah, I feel like that. Nice that was upper. an ideal he's situation right there. Patient, the juggling game. Down Ooh. air into nothing. Every Pikachu nope. tries the thunder. It never works. Yep. Ooh, what a Just smart out of shield option. I love that. Yeah, we hit him with the self bomb. Ooh, nice DI. <laughs> hit by the bomb. That actually freed him up. Yeah. Ah, but he's getting greedy. Really is. They both are. <laughs> nah, that's a kill. Ah, that's a kill. I missed the tether. And the match goes to Trenko. Good stuff to Trenko. 3-1. <laughs> I'm up. Nope. Yep. Good luck. Just put it down. Yeah. I got it. What a sub. What a influential sub. You want to come to? Oh, we have Andrew on stream. Andrew against who? Is Andrew against Nick? No, that's too early in bracket for Andrew against Nick. I know I did. I'm so happy with my performance. Thank you. I cannot... Here you go. I don't think your mic is on. Is that good? Oh, okay. Hey, there we go. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Strudel. Huh? Thanks, brother. Oh. No. Uh, like 50. I'll take it. Oh, no. Oh, do we have Pro Controller nonsense? All right, we're good. All right. 
Oh, you gotta? Okay. I will. Oh. Okay. Looks like it's just me for now. We got Gatsby versus Shy Guy. This is gonna be a set. Gatsby is such an electric player. And uh, Shy Guy's got a pretty decent Zevrog. I haven't seen much of it, but uh, gonna get it on full display right here in this best of five. And this is damage. Ooh, he died in a way where the Nair shouldn't have connected, but he barely got it from the bounce. Really interesting. Alright, looking for an edge guard. Edge guarding Sephiroth is so tricky, especially as Captain Falcon. The main thing is he's gonna try to get there before he has time to charge that uh, up B because after that it's almost impossible to stop it. And we got we got Nair combos. Three patch Palutena, Sephiroth Nair combos. Gatsby's got Sephiroth off stage. Alright. That back there, back there, almost killing. Jab, jab, up the classic from Gatsby. Gonna kill off the top. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Doing all right. What have I missed so far here? Uh, two stocks. Pretty two fast stocks. stocks, as Gatsby's known for. All right, yeah, and this is, this is game one between these two. Uh, I'm really excited to see these two play. I haven't seen them play in a long time. And honestly, the changes that have happened for both these players are pretty monumentous. Gatsby okay. just kind of leveled up super during quarantine, got so much better as a player. Yeah. And Shy Guy, this is the character. This character didn't exist before quarantine. Yeah, no, this and is first offline appearance here, I think? Unless no, we had his appearance... Um, Two weeks ago, for the first initial encore, where he, ooh, oh, yeah, the, the Sephiroth was doing pretty well against uh, who was it? He almost managed to get an upset. I think it was on Pokalam. Oh wow! Um, but just like in one of the games, he just like had the lead and kind of couldn't maintain it. Um, but anyway, oh no, he's attacking those though. Love that side B interaction. Anytime it just barely whips. This is damage. Oh, he, oh <laughs> the platform. <laughs> Do you think the platform messed him up there, or did it was it actually helping him out for a little while? I think Shy Guy's di in actually uh, mixed up Gatsby. That's actually the fact he di in, recognizing he was being dragged on the platform, is really yeah. smart. Because normally you don't di in. Normally you know. di out from those Falcon up airs. Yeah. But recognizing that he was being dragged, mixed up the di, and that actually kept him alive. Shy Guy though, ee, there isn't much alive left in him. He's at 114 percent. And Gatsby just can delete stocks at this point, especially on a lighter character like Sephiroth. Absolutely, but he does have this wing, which could be a big game changer. At the very least, it helps out with his recovery. <gasps> oh. That was some wacky, goofy nonsense right there. Yeah, one option that I sometimes see Gatsby pick at the ledge is, uh, oh, is down B, weirdly enough. But I've seen it work, and oh, man. He's oh, that's swimming. not enough. <gasps> oh. That should be it. Yeah, Jeez. the gentleman is enough. That, that gentleman jab is so powerful coming out from Captain Falcon. Yeah, at the edge of the stage with uh, on Town and City specifically. They, it doesn't necessarily, it is like for jabs. It's definitely a strong jab. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're not going to be seeing it kill at like 50 or 60 yeah. or even like 100. Nothing like that, yeah. Yeah, but in that situation, there's really good recognition. Realizing he didn't need to go for some fancy punish that might mess things up. No, that's like a... Whatever that is, a frame three jab, just boop, 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 done. Mm. Ah. So what do you think we're going to be seeing for stage counter picks? That's a good question. I'd imagine, okay. Battlefield, Battlefield wasn't banned. Huh. I'm kind of surprised about that. I mean, I think Falcon also kind of likes Battlefield, but oh, I'm just... Battlefield. What? They're not going Battlefield. Oh, they're not. Okay, I was going <laughs> to say, why would you take... He banned it. Yeah, no, I thought so. I was like, oh, I'm okay. surprised he didn't ban Battlefield <laughs> against Up Air, the character. <laughs> yeah. Sephiroth's hitboxes are absolutely atrocious. It's, I mean, the kind of atrocious where like you call the police. Yes. That kind of atrocious. Absolutely. Not like, you know, I'm trying to think of a like, Little Mac atrocious. Oh, yeah. You know, where you, you call, like, an ambulance yeah. for him. It's a different kind of atrocious. <laughs> Okay. Oh, speaking of atrocious. Oh, he 
This madman. What an atrocious beginning for for Gatsby and Shy Guy, depending on your definition. And, oh no, it's happening again. There's no. You didn't give him time oh to recover. All right. Okay. <laughs> Shy Guy turning it around with this juggle. Not quite oh, Gatsby. Gonna find his way back on stage. Shy Guy's right. doing such an oppressive job of keeping Gatsby in his corner right now. Yeah, he needs that oppression because he took that zero to death to start this game off. Oh, no. Oh, I thought we were gonna maybe see a knee, but nope, just the smooth neutral air. The, the bravest fairy I've seen in years. This is just two, two players who know what they're doing. Going at it. It's absolutely ruthless. Yeah, I will say, Shy Guy not really being tripped up at the ledge. Uh, Gatsby, I sometimes see him take a lot of stocks there. But for the most part, that's not where we're uh, ooh, we're seeing Shy Guy take the hits. Oh, okay. no, that goes. The second time he's missed that tech under. Uh, I think the first time I wouldn't. I think he was kind of. Maybe he could have recovered after the when that first stock he missed the tech, but that one definitely an unfortunate missed tech from Shy Guy, and he's now looking at, oh, he tech that time. Yeah. Well, it's a lot easier to tech with the up B, yeah. just because it's so telegraphed. Um, the only reason you shouldn't be teching it is when, it, when they have red sparks on it. Yeah. All right. Oh. That could have oh, been that it. One. This one's not it? Okay. Oh, again, it took too much time. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, three stock. A three stock for Gatsby. I mean, based on that first stock. And they're both smiling about it. That's one thing about that I like about these Tuesday brackets. Oh, yeah. A lot more like an overlaxed, casual, yeah. like, ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha ha ha. There is still a little bit of, of, yeah. of that going on. There's competition for sure. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, they, they joke around after that. This is best three to five also. So yeah. uh, we are going to have. You know, Shy Guy does have more games to work with, and Shy Guy's yeah. a solid player. I could conceivably see him making this comeback. Oh, definitely. Uh, but you know, I think the very beginning of this next game is going to matter hugely because if he, if Gatsby gets to do the same thing, or at the very least sets a huge tempo with a big combo to start, then I don't see a way for Shy Guy to make this comeback happen. Yeah. Oh. So far, though, Shy Guy's been, oh, missed. I was going to say, dodging most of the damage, and honestly, we're seeing that even still. The Brings it back to the 1D. I, I, not the normal, uh, you know, defensive option. Definitely not. Gatsby loves these uppies under platforms because he knows everyone wants to shield. But with Gatsby, you've got to be looking for it. He gets the tech. Oh. And that's what that, like, Falcon buff that we got a few months ago was oh, so yeah. huge. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, you used to be able to punish Falcon for getting hit by his up B. Oh, speaking of punishing Falcon, the air dodge punish for Shy Guy being massive right there. 135% on him. He possibly could, you know, he could conceivably survive a few more Falcon hits. Oh, not that one. How would end it? Oh, he has no oh. religion invincibility. He's not dead? It's a, it's a really scary move to try to do anything with. That is true. The hitboxes on it are just ridiculous. Oh, yeah. And it's not even the kind of move where you can like jump off stage and come back against. Because yeah. if he reverses it, then you're gonna get knocked off stage, which oftentimes they will do. Yeah. Just so that if you get hit by the hitbox, you'll be you'll be the one who's getting edge guarded. It's a really smart move. Oh. Another heinous move from Sephiroth, that down air. Cats I mean <laughs> It deserves to be heinous based on the legacy of it. Oh yeah. It's a, a interesting history. <laughs> No spoilers for it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, it should do extra damage against in game waifus. Yeah. Absolutely. DSS Palu. Oh! Oh! He doesn't even charge it. No. Did he taunt? Yeah, he taunted. Oh, yeah, then you taunt. taunt. You better taunt. It's Tuesday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! <geez. laughs> the pressure! I feel like if that didn't poke, poke it, it might have broke the shield. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but insane. the thing is actually. He specifically targeted the vulnerable bits. That wasn't like a YOLO knee on the shield. The delay he had, he was clearly aiming for Shy Guy's head. And uh, it seems to have breathed some life back into Gatsby because, well, they're neck and neck right now, but oh. Oh, good high recovery from Gatsby. He didn't want any part of that. Yeah, Shy Guy at this moment. Oh, he has no jump. Oh, but he makes it back anyway. 
fade back. Just barely, so he wouldn't get clipped by that knee. This guy is such a scary place for Gatsby. Why is he putting himself willingly on the ledge? Oh my god, too many uppies at once. Oh, that! Oh, the, the, the wing from Sephiroth, huge, able to aid in him, dodging that. Oh. That should be it. No, not enough of a punish. Right. Oh, off stage. That's it. That's gotta be no. it. No! Nah, that's we'll gotta be it. Yeah. That one's it. Yeah. Jeez. And that was... So I believe that uh, he air dodged directionally because that keeps you alive a little bit longer. Um, but it's one of those things where if the opponent is aware of it, after you air dodge, you have a ton of lag. And Falcon can go really deep out there. Oh, yeah. So, like, if you're a player and you feel like you almost got the kill you should in almost immediately be preparing, at the very least, to go out deep and hit them for directionally air dodging like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, some characters, obviously, you can't really do that, but, a f like, Falcon with his zoom zoom, oh, yeah. ha ha, legs go burr, like, yeah, he can do that. <laughs> yeah. It's, I will catch people a lot of the time just going for that. Yeah. It almost seems like a habit or a, a reflex more than anything that air dodge. Uh, yeah. But you've got some time before... Just if you're on that top right or left of the screen, top anywhere of the screen, and like instantly air dodge, you have a lot of time to delay that. Most characters have a lot of time to delay that air dodge and mix up when they're going to go for it. Well, no. So the thing, the reason why he air dodged when he did is because I believe I, I I've heard some conflicting stuff about this, so I will double check. But yeah. I believe the reason why is because you enter hit you exit hit stun earlier when you yeah. air dodge. So there are some times where if it's like literally coming down to the pixels, which I think that neutral air was, uh, the fact you directionally air dodge up and away keeps you alive, basically prevents that last bit of momentum from pushing okay. you into the blast zone. I believe that is how it works. Um, yeah. I recently, somebody told me that that was, it extends the hurt box, so I don't know if it's like frame, like it's pixel neutral or whether it is in fact yeah. uh, a benefit, but um, I, I for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of rely on what I've been told. If somebody in the chat, for instance, yeah. knows whether or not that is in fact true, uh, I would greatly appreciate it because, mm -hmm. uh, as a commentator, I hate spreading misinformation. Uh, speaking of spreading mi misinformation, we now have yeah. uh, Nicholas Goku. <laughs> oh, oh boy, <laughs> coming up on screen versus Gatsby. Ah, huh. okay, this is interesting. Last time these two fought, Gatsby actually took it. That makes sense. I know that Noku has been, like, in terms of what people have been doing to stay fresh during quarantine, Gatsby was out there entering Xeno Wi-Fi's, doing all this stuff online, whereas Noku, I think, took a bit of a mental break, at least for the most part. Uh, he's one of those Noku kind of couldn't handle online, which is fair. I yeah. mean, I don't. I hope we never have to go back to online. Me neither. Please. Jeez, I couldn't handle it either. Uh, oh, man, how much... Could you imagine if Nintendo came out with rollback netcode now? I That would just be like rubbing salt in the wound. <laughs> no. We already went through it, and now they're like, we'll fix it. No, man. They're just like, guys, it took us exactly 15 months Jeez. to get no rollback netcode working. Uh, that's, that's it's okay. Game. That won't happen because Nintendo will never do that. Yeah. 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 So we're good. We're good. <laughs> In case anyone was mistaken and thought that Nintendo would do something for us, <laughs> rest assured, we're safe. <laughs> we're safe from Nintendo's warm embrace. Don't worry, guys. Exactly. Um, Noku looking for his tag. Oof. Oh, no. Oof. Oh, oh that's a... Oh. Jeez. Ooh. Look at him. He's, he's so... <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure your name got deleted weeks ago. You just put it on there? Yeah. That's hilarious. That is... <laughs> what did he say? That is a very funny. I was, I, he played Wonton, I think, on here. He just played Wonton on here? Oh, come on. Coo. Oh, yeah, guys. Get a look at this fantastic venue. If you have never been to Encore, uh, that's like a third of the venue maybe. yeah like like it is a gorgeous corner, gorgeous right? place and you are doing yourself a disservice if you've never come out here so yeah great place friendly people zynga bazinga <laughs> no, no, no. That's what you said? i bazinga? said zynga the, the oh, company okay. that made farmville that's who i was about, oh okay so. nothing else Nothing else. Okay. Just Listen, sure. when I want to when I want to say something stupid, I say bingo bongo. 
That's, uh, that's the phrase I use. I will never say. I get it. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to be getting into it. Uh, I know that this is a matchup that I believe Gatsby has a lot of experience with. Yeah. We've got um, a million PTs. Yeah, yeah. And especially because he's in the same crew as Quid, I believe. So I'm pretty sure the two of them play. Uh, but Noku is a bit of a different PT. Um, we'll see how it ends up shaking out here. Staying Squirtle, I think that's a very good idea. Squirtle yeah. with his small size. Captain Falcon in general can kind of struggle to hit smaller characters. And as we already just saw, the combos that Squirtle has on Falcon are uh, a little gross. Oh, yeah. No, it's uh, disgusting. Switching right to Ivy's or probably looking for this kill. Early kill right here. Off stage. Oh, down air should be a oh, beautiful. That recovery was gorgeous, and he's still surviving. That might be it, though. Oh, wow. Oh, smart. Yeah, that's it. That's that's the Noku, the charge F smash at ledge. Yeah. Normally, it's used to punish a ghetto. Oh, my gosh. That shield is a skittle right now. <laughs> Arbor on the up, becoming in clutch for Noku. That's... Huh. Okay. Uh, neutral. Take notes. Oh, this could be it. Never mind. Flare Blitz right here. Coward. <laughs> I I mean, he might be a coward, but he is doing a dang good job of playing right now. He's still getting it done. How did he know that he was going to throw out the knee as a defensive option? I mean, it's not the first time we've seen it, but... That's true. That is actually very true. Wow. Well, that might be the last time we see it. <laughs> possibly that... That one game was good for three, I think. That was a cheese. Yeah, that was a was that three stock? That was a three stock. That was right? a three stock, yeah. All right, and yeah, Gatsby exhaling, being a little reflective, sort of trying to figure out what he did wrong in that game. And I mean, it felt like during those scramble situations, for one, Noku was just coming out on top. Yeah. You know, when they were just kind of going back and forth, like with throwing out moves after neutral had already been done. It was like Noku was always, you know, he was super armoring through the attacks or he was just out spacing it. Mm -hmm. So maybe even if you are Gatsby, just when, after you get hit or just try and reset more often, you know, get back to neutral because as we just saw, his neutral is pretty solid, you know? A lot of damage off stage for Poss. Edge guard. Oh, good parry is going to lead to more damage. Goes up for a forward air right there. I think he has no. Okay, no. Are you dead? Ooh. Anytime I see any Captain Falcon, specifically Gatsby, land a down air anytime, it's a possible death. Unless it's at like 120. Then we know they're not going to die. Ironically. <laughs> oh. Oh no, that's it. Yeah. Unless oh. it's I wonder if he could have wall jump. Yeah. So. Oh, oh, you're right. He could have wall jump. I was thinking di even more towards the the, the ledge uh, and yeah. wall teched, like mm -hmm. tech jumped it, and then possibly gotten a wall jump in. I don't know. Um, he would have been further down if he had did that anyway. Yeah. Um, but it's sort of hindsight, you know, is 50-50. Oh. Again. For that down smash right after the down air. Oh, what a neutral air! Another one. A B. He's living. Oh, oh he's oh, still oh. alive. Wow. I, I'm surprised he didn't try to go for a down air or anything like that. But. Definitely could have been a problem for Gatsby. This Charizard honestly has been putting in work. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be it. I that that's honestly Yolo Flare Blitz time. I think. Yeah, definitely. Oh. I hate to see it. Yeah, but on the other oh, hand, it was tactical from Noku. Yeah. That plan. Yeah, that flamethrower can often make people yeah. basically miss input just from the buffer system in this game. Mm -hmm. Definitely a big uh, help for anyone who has that kind of neutral B. The two characters. Oh yeah. Oh, we got some tricky up B shenanigans. Is that gonna do it? No. Noku still surviving, and now he gets to switch to Charizard, who can help him survive even more. At 158%, he's able to rack on some nice damage even here. Charizard's definitely gonna be helping Noku live it. Milk this stock as long as he can. 
Oh, are you dead? Oh, oh are oh, you dead? Ah, that was smart. Tanking the hit. I mean, it's hard to say because you did take over 20% in order to tank it, but at yeah. the very least, it did steal uh, Noku's death. Which means that there might be, you know, there still is a possible way to victory for him. Definitely. These offstage interactions have been going 50-50, which is pretty strange, just because Captain Falcon is such a ledge guardable character, and PT is such a good character at ledge guarding. But Gatsby's just doing such a great job of getting back. Yeah. Oh, starting to recover low now. Earlier in the set, he was recovering very high, but all of a sudden, now we're seeing there's a low recovery. Noku noticing that, switches to the Ivysaur, probably hoping to get a down air on the next time he would be doing that. Smart. Oh, that's oh. a... Are you dead? I, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, again! But that time he texts it. How did he not get hit by that? Oh, my gosh. They're both deep in the red right here. Noku trapped on the ledge at such a high percent. One up throw is probably going to do it on that platform. Is that enough? It absolutely is. That's going to be Noku moving up 2-0. Mm. Noku just shouted no bands. He's confident right now. Well, I thought he right had a sh shouted same bands. Oh. I don't know. It's hard to hear with these on. Yeah. It's hard to hear in general. How do people hear? Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, dude. Physics. All right, moving into this next game now. This is Gatsby's winner on the line, you know, his winner's life. He, if Noku cleans up another game right here, first of all, that would be a 3-0. Yeah, that would be devastating. Oh, did he jump? He snagged his oh. jump, he has no jump. Oh. That was close, that could have been stock. Yeah, if I don't know if Noku recognized that, but then again, Noku's usually pretty good about recognizing that sort of thing. It's hard to cover air dodge like that. Okay. This is scary for Gatsby, but it doesn't matter because these up airs are gonna net him the almost the kill. Oh! And <gasps> that two frame with the down air was immaculate. Now, Noku once again going to that, that, always oh, that down there landed. What? That was beautiful, but it would have been better if it hit. Yeah, I like the idea of going for Raw Knee right there, mm -hmm. specifically in order to send Noku, like, off stage. Yeah. That would have been much closer to the, the, uh, um. He makes these back? He should be able to. No, he should not. Never mind. Well, I don't think we're going to be seeing a 3 0 sweep for Noku. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's such a baller for that. Okay, he wants this kill right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, 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 still? He's living. Oh, wait, wait, no. Noku has got 39 off of one ledge guard, and he's just keeping it going. Ah! Oh, the sweep is alive once more. That edge guard was just constant being able to hit him over and over and over again. Noku only at 36%. He can very feasibly make this comeback. Unless? Oh, I was thinking that was going to be a knee. Okay. Noku is just taken back center stage. Oh. Noku's been throwing out a couple like back airs while Gatsby is above him. It's a curious option. I'm wondering exactly what he's trying to cover with those. He's gotten punished by them at least twice I've seen. Ooh. That was such a tricky recovery from Gatsby. Better drift, just avoiding those platforms and mixing up his landing. Oh. This is possibly massive. Trapped at the ledge once more. That's a rapid jab to put Noku all the way on the other side of the stage. He's looking for an upbeat here. Both of them probably are looking for an up B at this point, but back throw. Not back at all. Oh, that was it. That might be it. I think that's, that's going to be it. And Noku makes the comeback, I will say. Gatsby went for that side B. Gatsby was definitely like, I have the lead. I'm feeling myself a little bit. Let me really go in here. Like, I'm pretty sure that he went for that side B, you know, died for it. And then the reason why he went off stage is he was by his own volition. Mm -hmm. That second, I, I could be wrong here, but I believe the second stock of game three for him, he went off stage, and then Noku's like, you fool. Yeah. And then took his jump and then just did all of that damage and ended up converting it into an entire stock That's all crazy. by himself. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, Patch is live, apparently. What? Kazuya is out.
Oh, well, we got to stop the tournament. Stop it. Sorry. Every right. every si switch is just going to shut down. We got to stop. Honestly, though, oh, I wonder what. I got to be checking patch notes. Can we have oh. somebody on duty checking patch notes? Patch notes are big. Yo. Yo, can we get somebody on duty checking patch notes? Patch just went live. Can we get some patch notes up in here? Yeah. Somebody pull that, pull that stuff up. I always love patch notes. Oh, me too. I care about patch notes more than the DLC character. Oh, yeah. Genuinely. Because here's the thing. Think about how much the meta has been shaken up by each DLC character versus each of the patch, like, you know, the, the game balance changes that came with yeah. each DLC character. Like, really think about it. Like, which do you, like, with maybe the exception of Joker, every, like, it felt like every time, like, we could go back and check, but like, it felt like every single DLC character came out with some pretty monumental changes, or at the very least, buffed up characters who had been on the weaker side, you know? Definitely. What was it? Like, the Min Min came with the Sonic buffs, right? I think if so. I remember, if I remember correctly, yeah. And Sonic is a, kind of more of a presence than Min Min is right now. Oh, definitely. But as we're coming out of this online era, it's going to be interesting to see. What, what? Deliable. All right, we will have, honestly, I would, I, would, I would love to spend some time doing some deep analysis of these patch notes yeah. once, uh, once we have them in front of us. Uh, okay, next we're going to be getting... It looks like... I'm not familiar with this person. Oh, sup, Miles. By the way, Miles, if you're watching, let me know when sign up for Xeno. I'm doing like I'm driving in almost every week for it. Uh, tomorrow, I since nobody apparently wants to come with me, boo hoo. I think I'm going to take the train. But normally, I'm I'm driving into the city for Xenos. And that's this is an announcement I guess goes out to everybody in Westchester. So if you guys ever want to go down to like kind of the mecca of tri-state, yeah. that being. Zeno Zero's weekly Wednesday tournaments. Uh, hit me up. I might hit you up for that. Yep. On at Twitter on uh, uh, at saltyfun underscore SSB. Ah. <sighs> anyway, I think that now we are playing in losers now. This is a losers bracket, ah. I believe. Okay. Um, this shy guy. Or what? What? They buffed Bayo. They buffed Bayo. No. Oh no, Ace is freaking out. Ace is freaking out right now. I'm upset. They actually did that. Okay. That. What what are we what are we looking at here? Can you can you put it on the screen over here? All right, let's get a nice juicy look at this here. Okay, scroll up, scroll up for us. Um yeah, Hold up. Me Brawler got buffed. Yes. I love seeing Me Brawler get buffed. I'm not having a good time. Okay, all right, let's see this. Uh, so l let's take a look at what's in front of us right now. For m let's go up to the top. Give us the top. Okay, Marth. Um, Marth got buffed, it looks like. Increased, so increased power, I believe, is damage for his tipper. His dash attack tipper does more damage. Uh, so the launch damage, it also, ki it's going to kill more. Oh, my God. It's, they increased the tipper size of dash attack, made it do more damage, and it's going to kill even easier. So Marth dash attack, is uh, that's scary. I don't like that. Uh, Mark down tilt make it. Ma they increase this the sweet the tipper hitbox of Mark's down tilt and up tilt. They did the same thing that they did with dash attack. So Mark's dash attack is now going to be a kill option. That's really big. It's going to be a yeah. little bit less so because of the fact that you know Mark's requiring tipper on his dash attack. Mm -hmm. So we can't just like oh you did a single mistake. Let me dash attack and kill you. But in general dash attacks. Uh, up smash they fixed link up young link up smash. I guess it hits more consistently. Olimar uh, increased the amount of time that hit detection lasts for the high damage window. So I believe that means that the hitbox for the sweet spot lasts longer. Tiny little buff, not really uh, anything. Uh, so si Rosalina Luma, side B apparently Luma will always go to f in front of uh, in front of Rosalina when they do it. Not huh. really that big. Uh, neutral special two, which is uh, I think that's the uh, attack one. One of them. Um, Increased attack range in the front, so it has more range. Okay. Uh, side special one is oh, okay. Down special is the so the, the, the I think it's the crash one got increased damage against st shields and does more uh, has more knockback. So that one already did a lot of shield damage. That might be a shield breaker now. Uh, can we get a scroll down here? All right, me sword spider. 
Uh, side special one, I could not tell you what that is. It's one of them. Oh, God. I, I need to memorize all of the me <laughs> things. No, I don't, actually. You Never don't. mind. Scroll it's past not, these. They yeah. got general buffs, but who cares? I think the counter for him got buffed. Uh, all the specials. It was exclusively specials that got buffed. Them, so, uh, okay. All right. So, reuse uh, the red fireball hits more consistently. All right. Bayonetta. Oh. Um, so the da uh, jab attack, the the finisher, it has more knockback. I don't know whether that means it kills. It might kill a little bit earlier. Um, down smash is faster, and down special increase the amount of time the opponent gets slowed when used against a projectile. Okay, that's a tiny buff, but that's could be relevant. Mm -hmm. I guess you know it's much better. You know, Bayona hates getting camped, so now yeah. when she you know reflect uh, gets to counter a projectile, it's going to be huge for her. Uh, Banjo Kazooie up tilt more knockback. Side smash, side smash, more knockback. We'll get back to this. Actually, yeah. I love this. Uh, but in the meantime, I think we're going to be moving on into this game right here. Uh, oh no, poor Kirby! <laughs> Just snap! Don't make me snap my fingers in a Z formation. Doesn't look like West Side Story right now. I'm not here for it. When you're Jet, no, I think that's the lyrics. that's one of them. That's one of them. Yeah. This is going to be a really interesting match, just because of how low Kirby can get and avoid all of these like attacks from several. I mean, this is... Uh, he might be able to get low, but he, that doesn't mean he can get in. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Kirby is still a bad character. I mean, like, honestly, Kirby can do some things, and Kirby being small can be really big, and the fact that uh, oh. Kirby has some nice damage... Uh, really good combos, and Sephiroth is a character that does not have a great get off me tool. Um, so once once he gets in, that kid might be able to do a lot of damage, but we'll see if that'll end up actually being the case here. Definitely. I will say, he's managing to shield in Sh Shy Guy's face quite a bit, which is impressive, because normally Sephiroth, if you're shielding, he'll stop you when you're like 16 feet away. But I was going to say, the counterplay to that is yeah. just grab him. Run up, grab. The classic. Not really sure how Kirby would go about getting in with this Sephiroth. Seems like it's going to be really difficult for that kid. Okay. It seems like Shy Guy is trying to take a little bit more of a bait and punish style here. Definitely doesn't want to commit when he doesn't have to. And oh, that counter pretty big. And that kid's already at 140. All right, keeping him at the ledge. Caught him running in. That side tilt is crazy. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's that's a big part of what makes this character good. Uh, it's just that Sephiroth side tilt. It just does damage. It has so much range of kills. Like it's for his neutral, one of the best tools he has. And now we have uh, it's a comeback mechanic, but he's in the lead. Don't ask me how that works. Uh, Shenanigans. All right. Okay. Yeah. He's looking for that down smash. So Sephiroth smash attacks have a damage. Bo uh, he, I think it's a general damage boost, but that means that his down smash is gonna actually. I don't know if it breaks a full shield, but it gets dang well close. Oh yeah. And so recognizing the fact that that kid's is shielding a lot, that's why he just showed that as a threat. The down smash. Mm -hmm. He seems to be shielding at down smash range a lot. And very scary. See why Shaka's going for these down smashes. Oh, the down B mix up that Kirby has is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, just waiting on that platform. Doesn't want to interact. Coming down with the back air, though. <gasps> that counter is insane. Good job saving his jumps, oh. though. Not this. He just delays. He hops forever. Beautiful job stalling it out. All right, forward air. All right. Getting... Sephiroth off stage seems like it's going to be a big thing for Kirby because Kirby, I feel, is one of those characters that can actually edge guard Sephiroth with his down B. That is possible, but at the same time, it takes a while and he can always do the fast option. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, oh, now you're a Kirby who's stoned below the ledge and you need to, you know, good job right there. Actually getting, as I often see, <laughs> yeah, I know, just, I just find Sephiroth's snaps funny. 
Like, I understand they're friggin' terrifying, but still. Ooh, nice parry. Good job from Shy Guy to jump from that. I don't know if you saw this, but that kid's went for a dash attack, and Kirby dash attack is actually a really good option if you think your opponent is going to roll. It catches them, you know, if they don't shield, and also if they roll back, it also deals with that. And that dash attack can kill so early as we saw just there. Honestly, I will say that that kid is a player who has really solid adaptation. Um, and he sort of, he'll figure out what like the like what you're having trouble with and he'll just start really you know using that over and over again if he needs to again shy guy is not falling for any of these baits at ledge he's just sitting still and waiting for his punish the tiniest little nick from neutral air oh hammer time Ooh. <laughs> Playing the waiting game here. Just waiting for one of these players to overcommit is going to give the other a huge advantage in this game. Coming down to last stock, possibly last hit. Not quite for Sephiroth yet. Oh. <laughs> That's another dash attack. The fact that, like, that kid's just, like, dashing in and out. It's somehow finding these moves. This could be it right here. Shy Guy was in such a lead, but all of a sudden, one more read from that kid's could do it. Oh, up throw might be a kill option at this point. I think he's going to go for it. Let's see if it actually does it. Not quite enough. This high blast zone's on Town and City, saving Shy Guy right there. And he has no what invincibility. That's going to be it. Palace. There it is. Finally. No kill screen. But that kid's getting the comeback. This is insane. This seems like on paper it would be terrible for Kirby just because of how slow and how short the hitboxes are on this ball and how that goes up against Sephiroth's giant sword that shatters the world. But that kid is making it work. Yeah, I mean, I a big part of it is he's managing to get into Shy Guy's zone. I feel like Shy Guy's almost respecting him too much. It, it, it's hard to say because, you know, that kids can be really tricky. Yeah. But once he gets in, like, he should just be F-tilting more, honestly. Just to do some shield damage. And maybe even go for a trice, get more of those cheeky down smash shield breaks. Yeah. He was shielding at a lot. A lot of times he was shielding at a range where down smash, I believe, would have connected, I think, with a sweet spot. So, um, moving into game two, we're actually going to try flats and not banned. Interesting. I assume Battlefield was banned, but... Oh. Home field advantage, possibly? Oh, that's massive! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Earlier on, we saw that kid's one of the things he would do when he got hit by some of those, uh, you know, those little glowing balls. He would just retreat... Oh, oh are you no. dead? That was insane. Did he DI in? He must have DI'd. I think he DI'd in, and that's why he got connected by those? Probably. But I mean, when you're off stage like that, it's your instinct to DI and you're like, I don't want to go to the blast zone. Can we talk about how that down angled forward tilt covers Yoshi's story's ledges so strangely? <laughs> I'm doing it that time. It's like oh. it's made for it. All right. You know, the fight, the fact, the fact that Kirby maybe doesn't have the best range, the forward air has been really helping that kid's out. What are you shielding? To me, there is nothing funnier than this small pink ball having an earth-shattering neutral lead. <laughs> it is absolutely destructive. And Honestly, large. they should have given him abs. They should have. I mean, they should have. <laughs> Imagine just, you know, it's Kirby, he's got the Sephiroth hair, but then also just like a six-pack. <laughs> that would be so intimidating. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> that kid's... It seems like he likes having access to a projectile, but... Hasn't really gotten a lot of mileage off of it yet, but at the very least, he's making Shy Guy respect his space and sort of forcing Shy Guy to approach. Seems like forcing Shy Guy into the air a bit more. That actually killed. That killed. That, yeah, we saw that that, that up throw was struggling to kill on Town and City at like 100 and... No, that was 130, but with the help of that top platform, especially on Yoshi's, this is a three stock to one right now. It, this is looking like such a different game in the first game. Straight back here getting the kill from that kid, but... Still, two stocks to one. 
Oh. Ooh. You're so cheeky for that. I mean, you're up by this much. Yeah. And what happened last game is uh, Shy Guy, he started to get scared, and he started shielding a lot. And that's why he <laughs> that kid's got like three grabs in a row at the end, if you remember. Mm -hmm. So if Shy Guy falls victim to that same fear, he's going to get grabbed a lot. And that's something that that kid loves. Because it means he's not throwing out hitboxes if he's just panicking and shielding. Oh, there it is, the down smash. I was saying finally. how that that's like the perfect range he's been shielding at it. Yeah, that move kills at zero. Why is he making yeah. that face? I don't know. And you can combo it into a smash attack, so... I don't that's <laughs> right, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you are that, kids... So, remember how I was saying, oh, if Shy Guy's scared, you know, he's going to be shielding, and that kid's going to take advantage of that. I think that getting that shield break is going to sort of stymie Shy Guy's fear, at the very yeah. least. Definitely. Definitely going to make that kid think twice about just running up and shielding. <laughs> Gonna be mixing up more and definitely a big confidence boost for Shy Guy, I think. Oh, but that dash attack. Not oh. enough to do it. And now we're seeing the stage of the game. That gets trapped at the ledge. That's where he can die. Right now he's relatively safe. Oh gosh, almost another shield break. That would have been it. If he had one wing in it. Oh, if he had the one wing, that would have that would have broken the shield, I believe. And Definitely. one wing is probably coming into effect really soon. But like maybe the next hit that Shy Guy uh, takes could trigger it. At which point, you know, that's a uh, that's super. At the least, also super armor on the smash attacks. Oh man, look at the neutral between these guys. Oh, he's living. He's living. Okay. Oh, bear is terrifying here. It's very smart of that kid to just go low and not have to worry about it at all. Oh man, 123%. Ooh. Finally, Shy Guy has the lead, but it's not by much. The next hit will probably do it. A grab onto that platform. You can see that that kid's just looking for it. <gasps> that forwarder's gonna take it. Wow! <gasps> oh man. Oh, I see. That Earlier in the game. I, th I think that that kid's mentioned. I think that move did get buffed. Did it? Forwarder, I think it's knockback got buffed, and that's what we just saw right there is how that can come in clutch. Yeah. Right? I, I remembered? Yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's nodding at me. I'm doing such a good job. Let's go. Um, so that kid's up 2-0 against Shy Guy. This would be, I don't know if he's ever beaten Shy Guy, um, but at the very least, that's a solid win. We would not expect that kid to be uh, going this deep in bracket if he, and only needs his one more game. And <laughs> oof. that being said, remember, last game started off so explosively for him mm -hmm. with that forward air drag him off the stage, and it still ended up being a nail biter. So, Three, yeah, and Shy Guy going right back. I'm surprised we're still here. Hmm. Earlier in the last game, uh, around kill percent, that kid was just kind of dashing in and out of several off range, but also directly under that top platform looking for that up throw kill. Yeah, yeah. Is this strange? I, I don't understand why you're back here. Um, I, I think that it's... I can understand the appeal for both characters, but also, let's not forget, up air oh. and up smash from Sephiroth on this stage is kind of... Uh, it's putrid. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You can just land those more. Because so far, that kid's been doing a great job. I will also say, I'm loving Shy Guy's platform play right now. When he was on the ground, you know, trying to deal with that kid's, that's when that kid's was dashing into Navis range, hitting him with Kirby's really good tilts. And so, you know, now he's in the corner, but we're seeing him not be afraid to go on the platform to just take his time up there because that kid is being very hesitant to approach while he's on the platform. Counter can be so devastating for so many recoveries, including Kirby's. Back at the ledge. Oh, that's the first time we've actually seen down, oh, down angle forward tilt connect, and it immediately converts into a stock from Shy Guy. So, ooh, and now he's he's winning, but you know, comeback mechanic. He needed yeah. it. He needs. He needed it. Looking for a back air at this point. Back air is back air and dash attack are probably the only things at the ledge like this that could kill, and that's why we're seeing that kids go for it. But it seems like Shy Guy anticipating that. 
He's yeah. gonna get hit by it anyway, never mind. <laughs> that kid just knows. He's picking his spots so well. Counter Ooh. damage? Oh. I love that. Use those slants. That's beautiful. Oh, really smart to clank out the projectile with the multi hits of the forward air. Is that it? Oh, no. Only at 93 after the hit, too. That's going to be it. So smart. That was... I love that edge guard from Shy Guy. I thought that we were maybe going to see, like, a suicide kill from that kid. Oh, yeah. Just, that like, go down there and inhale. That would have been a good trade. That would have been... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's something worth considering at the very least. That hammer would have been beautiful. He had the read. He was just a little bit too... Didn't get a space on that right. Oof. This is going to be damaged. All right, just opts for down throw. Knowing, respecting the fact that Shy Guy probably going to be able to DI any of, uh, you know, Kirby's forward throw shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, he does not know when that's going to hit him. He went to the ledge a little bit too early. I believe that when you have three, it takes longer for them to actually zoom in and attack you. Oh. Yep. That would make sense. So the timing for one is different than the timing for three, I believe. Oh. He's off stage. This is scary. A foreigner is going to take it easily. Yeah. I could still have two more games to work with here. <laughs> yeah, and he does have stage counter pick finally yeah. for him. Uh, the thing is, I know that he likes to ban FD and FD and Kalos. I, because Kirby doesn't like stages that are just flat. Yeah. You have to play the neutral because Kirby's neutral is so... Yeah. If yeah. Um, it looks like we're going to be going to town and city. So there is that mixture of flat, but also platforms for him to work with. Yeah. Uh, and there's a lot more room on this stage. Did we see game one here? Um, that's a good question. I think we've seen them play on this stage at least once. So we'll see how it ends up. Getting the trip. Out. Oh, the crouch from Kirby dodging the Sephiroth grab. That's really important. Sephiroth's out of shield options are basically grab and neutral air. And if Kirby is crouching right in his face, like I, he has to go for like a what a down tilt at a shield. Who does that? Uh, or down smashes with the shield like it's been doing before. But I think part of Kirby's Kirby Kid's game plan is to bait these out since it is pretty punishable, and Kirby can get a lot off of landing aerials. Specifically down here. This forward air is putting in so much work at the moment. And okay, this time he does actually need the comeback mechanism yeah. to help him out. He need. Landing on Kirby's shield is not a great idea as a tall character. Yeah. Wow. Taking his time and finally finding that neutral air. Oh, oh. I always forget that has armor. Only when he has the wing. Yeah. And it's all the smash attacks, I believe, of Bomber. Yeah, as soon as he gets the wing, it always throws me out. I don't know why we needed that. He doesn't need it. He doesn't either. I mean, I will say, like, Sephiroth's not an amazing character, at least from what I've seen. He's good. Okay. He's definitely good, but it's not like, you know. Okay. That back air might take the stock right now. Oh. That damage buff from the... She's gonna survive it just barely. He's gotta look out for this up air. Again, going low. Smart, but that Nair was even smarter. That's so... Again, that's like the fastest option and the one that he would have to, you know, with the least commitment off stage for it. Mm -hmm. So, great just choice from Shy Guy. Ah, not gonna pummel on that up throw and it's not gonna kill the downside of being here on Town and City. Wow. That kills. I didn't think that would kill. The, the early hit of it is actually decently strong. Not super duper strong. I mean, it had, like, that was probably the, the lower range of it killing. And that was, like, on Sephiroth at 145, 150. Um, but, yeah, no, it, it's it's the the, the weight, the late hit, it does nothing. Like, no knockback whatsoever, which makes it good for some combos at certain times. It's a shame. I've been seeing that kid get the trips with the down tilt and get a grab from it. But he's pummeling and isn't really getting throws from it. Okay. Here comes this, early, like, that last stock. That kid was getting tons of early damage, but then when it came time for the kill, Shy Guy found it first. You know, Kirby's neutral. Ken, honestly, it seems like he's figured out a way to play the neutral relatively well, but it's the kind of neutral that's not going to lead to kills. It's the issue. 
until, you know, it's maybe at 145, 150, and he can get an up throw. Yeah. Or look for a straight dash attack. Has been hit him. Oh. Uh, he snaps. I can't. Oh, no, you be careful about that. Oh, because oh, it could have killed up top when I, Kirby went up. I think it might have. I'm not 100% sure. That uh, would have been funny. Yes. That would have been getting a thumbs up for me. That would have killed. Okay, yes. Uh, getting uh, <laughs> the forward toe. Kill! That random up smash is too smart. No, it's honestly really smart. It Recognizing that he was doing a lot of this jumping away, just goes in for that option. That's like, okay, it'll cover in front. It'll cover roll. It'll cover you jumping away. It'll cover you just jumping normally in. And he's invincible. I honestly, it, it, it's kind of a random F smash, but think about the amount of options that it did cover in that sort of situation where that kids had to be defensive. Yeah. You're right. All right. And we are now sort of reaching an end game point here. The shielding from the Shy Guy. He's just shielding it and not yeah. trying to counterattack. Ooh, ooh, we get those heals. Yo, after we check, after the game, we get to check the stats and it'll say damage healed. We're going to have a non zero. No way. Okay. Jesus. I, I was talking about some nonsense because I wasn't expecting the game to end right there. Almost died at 87 after the hit. That is insane. Oh, but he was able to survive it, and that's all that matters. Because, like, here's the thing. Like, okay, that was really big, but it didn't kill. So that only did, like, 20-something damage. Oh, 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 that's scary. Oh, he caught it just at the right time. This is going yeah. down to game five. That is insane. Yeah, that's... Game five, and that kid's, you know, games one and two, it seemed like he was really strong. Mm -hmm. Game three, definitely Shy Guy started to figure it out. But that game four was good for that kid at the start. It felt like yeah. he really understood what he needed to be doing, um, but he wasn't able to get kills, not really. That that side B almost did it, but it, it, he was at just a little bit too low percent, and that's the sort of read that you're not going to see very often. So as we're going into this last stage, I think that Whatever, you know, the more aggressive strategy that that kid's had, it was working. Granted, Shy Guy can always beat out aggressive options with, uh, you know, just throwing out his ridiculously big moves. So we'll see how the sort of adaptation going back and forth between these two plays out as we now are in game five of this set. He went there too early. The, the, the timing of it is totally different. Yeah. Ooh. The timing makes up you can do with Snap is insane. It's such a fast move, and you have to respect it, because having the Zorms on you is terrible. Yeah, and it's also one of those things where the Sephiroth player knows when they're going to go off. But you... Oh, oh, uh, the, 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 yeah. the, mm. Another one? I don't know what he's exactly looking for there. Uh, oh, no! I think he wanted to land on the platform. Oh, he's he is like, no jumps. Forced to up B, but just barely makes it back. Good sweet spot, and that's great for that. Another one! It works! That one does. I was not expecting that to work twice. You know, I felt like, oh, that's like the thing where, you know, you get one time. That, that, off. That's like the third down B that he's been killed for. That's crazy. I think that it's... It, I love it, the idea of it as a landing option yeah. against up air, but it seems like Shy Guys just figured out the timing. And yeah. I don't think it's worth... Uh, <laughs> Definitely not anymore. Yeah. Hit him. I feel like he was in lag there. Maybe he could have been punished, but I guess that kid's nervous about actually trying to uh, hit him in that situation. Like, possibly. I could definitely understand his nerves here. This is really big for him. That's a. Uh, he snaps. He's mixing up the timing so well, and Kirby could, keeps trying to come in while he's charging it. Getting punished for it. That kid's landing a lot of these forward airs, but hasn't really been converting off of them the way he was in that last game. Ooh, oh, angling down that down tilt. He's having none of these crouching shenanigans. Oh. Oh. That's it! Again with the down smash, and this time he is charging it up. Yep. Yeah, he knows. Uh, now Shy Guy, after being down 2-0, he's one stock away from taking that kid out, moving on in the winners, uh, sorry, in the losers bracket here. But that kid's definitely 
You know, he's been playing really well all tonight. He's so close. He, he was up 2-0. He doesn't want to, you know, be like, man, I don't want to come back on Tuesdays because I could have won the set if it was best two out of three. Yeah. Seems like Kirby Kid's getting really desperate with this kill right now. Looking for anything. He's coming in a lot more aggressively now. Yeah, and once he becomes predictively aggressive, that's when... Oh. He can just go in there and finish the deal. Shy Guy going to be making the reverse 3-0 comeback, keeping himself alive in the bracket and honestly looking really good. I'm looking forward to seeing what else he can do. Let's get these patch notes back on our screen. I need to yeah. see this. We Give me my fix, notes. dude. <laughs> And just Sephiroth having that third yep. jump and massive aerials is Ace, hey, so give me my patch fix. Terrifying. What? You exited it out by accident? Well, bring it back. You think that's an excuse? Damn it. Hammer flip. Why though? incognito mode? <laughs> what are you doing? I know. Yeah. Oh. oh, I see, I see, I see. He's right in the Twitch chat right after that. <laughs> Yo, have you ever comment uh, on your own game in Twitch while you're playing? Never. It's the ultimate. I mean, here's the thing. Next time you get a shield break, do that. Okay. Have your phone open, you know, so that the stream is get there. Get it ready. And then as soon as, yeah, as soon as you break it, just be like, oh, lol, 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 lol. Just like, watch me F smash this guy, and then you miss it and you die. That's so BM. <laughs> uh... I'll okay, back. here we are. All right, let's... Uh, Jigglypuff. Wait, this is the same patch notes? This is 11. We're at 12. That Kirby was pretty good. Really good. Yeah, you know, he that kid has honestly been doing some really good stuff. Okay, here okay. we go. This is what we were looking at before. Uh, we just went past... Here are the banjo buffs. I am scared by these banjo buffs. Um, Up to so already killed pretty early. Side smash. Side smash, too. Side smash, yeah. And then back air, adjusted launch angle, and maintained launch distance. So that means that uh, it, they didn't they didn't uh, increase its knockback, but they did change the angle, which means that probably it hits lower, probably you'll kill earlier just on that, and it'll be easier to edge guard with. Oh, no. uh, Min Min. Up smash. Yes. Uh, yes. Nerfs to Min Min. Min uh, nerfs. Decreased the attack. Speed on up smash so it comes out slower. Mm -hmm. uh, decrease the amount of the speed of reflect detection. So I assume it, it reflects on a later frame, probably to uh, line up with the uh, with the attack being uh, slower. Mm -hmm. And then also shorten the, uh, the 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 launch distance. So decreased its knockback. Mm -hmm. um, Min Min up special decrease the speed of the ledge grab range detection. So decrease the speed of. I love. De Deconstruct yeah. these patch notes, figuring out what they're saying. I think yeah. it means the tether is just a little slower. Maybe like a Zero Suit Samus's side B compared to the uh, Zero. Yeah. Which is pretty big, actually. Okay. Um, all right, so now we're going down. Steve and Alex, uh, if we can get a bit of a scroll down here, let's take a look. Oh, they nerfed all right. Uh, that doesn't look like a nerf. Uh, side special, okay, adjusted the behavior to prevent certain situations. Uh, become trapped and then sometimes go through the... L okay, so oh. they got rid of the... Everyone's probably seen the Twitter clips of somebody yeah. getting hit by uh, Steve's side B and just going <sighs> right through the stage. So apparently that's fixed now. All right. Pyra and Mithra, I assume that... Yeah, these are some Pyra and Mithra nerfs coming through here. Maybe some adjustments. We'll see. So extended the amount of time opponents will be in the damage animation when hit with the tip of the attack. That's neutral attack too. Um, so I assume that means it decreased the hit lag of it. That's usually what I think that means. Okay. Uh, extended the amount of time. So it increased hit lag when hit with the tip of the attack. Okay, so it, it's, it's like the hit lag on uh, the tipper of neutral uh, neutral attack. That's jab. So that, that that's not really a huge thing. Okay. Uh, side smash for Pyra reduced the detection for pushing opponents while charging. I th did she have a win box on win box on her forward smash or something? I think it was more like her uh, detection. Box. Oh right, it has a charging hit. No, what? I don't think it has a charging hit. Uh, Pyra's reduced the detection. Reduced the detection for pushing opponents while charging. Wait for what Pyra meant? Yeah. Okay, so what, what that means is. Uh, All right, we're gonna. 
Get so. Yeah, okay. So what that means, where am I? What that means is, hello, is uh, when they charged forward smash, they would like lean back super far. And for a lot of characters, if they ran up and they dash grabbed, it would whiff because they were the hurtbox shifting would come back with them. So now I guess uh, they don't lean back as far. So now if, uh, there won't be like stupid hurtbox shifting shenanigans that are stupid and shouldn't be in the game anyway. So yeah, I, it's all it's re reasonable. I will say real quick, two impactful Mithra nerfs here, and I'm not just saying that as a Mithra player. I these are actually important. One. Moving air dodge shortened invincibility time. If you don't know, she used to be able to air dodge to ledge and be completely invulnerable. Uh, if she was above the ledge, if, specifically if her head was above the ledge, she could air dodge to ledge in a way where there were no uh, frames to punish her, like if you were to teleport from above ledge with other characters that have teleport recoveries. So that being out is big because her recovery is now even worse. Um, the other one is neutral special. Neutral special used to treat everybody like it was the same weight. So if you hit... Pichu or Charizard with Neutra B it would launch the same distance if, if they were at the same percent. It no longer does that, so now Neutra B co-confirms are a little bit worse. That's all. Goodbye. I will say for the most part, a little bit maybe, like that seems like they're mostly quality of life things. I mean, it seemed, it wasn't like there isn't that much serious adjustment, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that definitely that the air dodging thing, that's pretty big. Uh, but honestly, it sounds like it was never intended to be in the game, so that's why they took it out. But that's also going to hurt her, not only for that situation, but also for other situations as well. You know, just when she's directionally air dodging, the, you know, there's going to be less invincibility. It could be impactful. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I'm looking at this. I think the biggest, obviously the biggest loser in the patch, I think is Min. Uh, no, probably Mithra, honestly. That, that air dodging thing is pretty big. Yeah. Um, so, Mithra... The, Hardest hit. Min Min also, those are two. We'll see. I mean, the up smash thing, that could be relevant. It could be relevant. Uh, biggest winners. Honestly, I'm. Those are Marth buffs. I'm looking at those Marth buffs and I'm like, that looks like it might be a real thing. Um, the other one, maybe possibly being Banjo. That's three of his kill options that are now been buffed. Uh, Bayonetta's, I mean, so it, I, I would have to see how it interacts in-game. Yeah. Apparently her jab launcher, can we scroll up actually, take a look at Bayonetta? So her jab, the finisher for it, uh, has increased knockback. Uh, go down. Uh, adjusted launch angle, extended launch distance. So it has increased knockback and also different launch angle. It used to send you like right straight up, right? So I'm not sure what the angle is different now. It's more diagonal. It's probably more diagonal and also depends on how much of a knockback buff it got because okay. if she can now kill with like jab combo relatively consistently that'd be big that'd be really big and the other thing is so for bayonetta uh down smash is now faster i don't know how much faster i love these patch notes but it's pretty vague in terms of how much of a buff we're talking about oh, here and the, the down b i mean how as a bayo player how relevant do you think the down b buff is Okay, all right, so uh, Ace, our stream runner slash uh, Bayo main, yep. uh, just informed us that the, the down special buff can be pretty good, especially, so he mentioned Pikachu, which that's oh. a relevant matchup, you yeah. know? The Very. fact that now she can, uh, if she, uh, which times, uh, Thunder Jolt can lead to some like solid, reliable punishes that she might not have been able to get previously so uh, that's the sort of thing where it's character dependent but I could definitely see a lot of top uh, top tier characters that it will be relevant against yeah so all right um, then also I think the other biggest winner is me brawler because I, I, I in my heart I believe that <laughs> I don't know not much of a brawler person I don't know the Mies at all uh, so I know me brawler because do you ever watch uh, why do they why do bad things happen to good people his YouTube channel. Oh no. He's, in my opinion, by far the best Smash content creator. Oh. Far and away. Uh, okay. The amount of effort he puts into his videos, and he is a me me brawler main, and he is, it's it's hilarious. Um, anyway, so we're gonna be getting into this game. Wonton Warrior playing the Link versus we just saw Shy Guy Sephiroth, which 
was able to do some an amazing comeback last time around. But Wonton Warrior is a player who, for those in the know in the Westchester scene, he's been around for years and is always, always. Uh, I still remember the first time I ever saw him play it was at an Aeon where he almost beat Wadi with Little Mac. Wow. Yeah. That's oh. crazy. Yeah, it like came down to like missing 1k a bunch if I remember correctly. Ooh. Also, he used to play on a Wemo. Oh. He can't anymore. It's so sad. Sadly, yeah. The spacing. Beautiful. Oh, that's not beautiful. It's interesting to see the contrast between last game where Kirby was trying to struggle to get in. Now Sephiroth's going to be the one trying to get in more, I feel. I, it really, I think a big part of it, I would not see Wonton Warrior being the type of player who would try to camp. That's not really his style, you know? I mean, he used to play Little Mac, for God's sake. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, that being said, he might end up, you know, just... Be, being more defensive purely because who wants to <laughs> right the hitbox that comes out at the end regardless oh. I think I th the fact he laughed about it I think maybe he forgot about that that is not a conventional counter yeah really strange and really good for edge guarding that's the sort of thing where if he hit it he might have survived ironically because he would have gotten an increased knockback Right? Because, yeah. like, if, if he upbeat into it, he maybe could have DI'd up and been able to recover because he'd be higher. I mean, the sort of thing where I'm. I mean, obviously, he probably could have just done anything. <laughs> yeah. True, it's hard to say. He is just jumping in front of his head. He didn't realize he picked up the arrow out of the thing. Gonna lose some control for that. That was. Oh, I think he's. Oh, yeah, he's done. Oh, great job recognizing that the bomb, uh, the, like sort of self-immolation, uh, would be uh, would be a way he could still recover even without his jump. Yeah. But he was a hit stun from the bomb and mm -hmm. just ready for it. Absolutely. Would have had to been a little lower, I think. Hmm? Would have had to be a little over after the bomb recovery. Uh, yeah. would, wait a second before just popping it up. Yeah, all right, it looks like uh, that Phantom coaching Wonton Warrior. Oh, let's go. We coach on Tuesdays, by the way. Wait, really? Uh, not like really, but no one's going to call you out for coaching on Tuesdays. Okay. Yo, can I coach Wonton Warrior then? Yeah. All right. You got it. Wonton, switch to Little Mac and use F Smash. It's yeah. the answer. He, if, if he, he has Super Armor on his smash attacks. You get a Super Armor on yours. It's it's an even matchup at the very least. At the least. Oh. <laughs> I feel like you're the only person who's ever going to accuse Little Max Sephiroth of being an evil even <laughs> matchup. <laughs> an evil matchup, I think there are a lot of That's people out there. Oh, beautiful Kill space oh. Combos coming out, taking 50% just from a grab. He spot dodged that bomb so boldly. Wave bouncing these arrows to try to mix up his landing a little bit. That ledge jump, uh, Z drop bomb is so good in this matchup. What is this song? I don't know, but they keep going back here. I think they like it. They have gentlemen's stage just for the song. That was scary. Alright, yeah, one wing is in effect. Is that enough to do it? It is! Just barely. So, if I understand it correctly, Sephiroth's wing does not go away until he dies, right? Uh, or the opponent dies, I think. So how does it? Okay, yeah. What is help? Okay, so apparently it just goes away depending on how even the game is, which I don't know how that works when he's in the lead to begin with. That's real-time balance patches. <laughs> oh, we got some combos with footstools. Smash forward. Oh, that, that thing's about to go mid him. It's about to. There it is. <laughs> that back here could have been devastating. <laughs> oh, that the, the threat of that down smash, man. Again, 
man. Ledge with the bomb. He's been getting back to stage with the bomb so consistently. Oh. She went up into him. Bravery. That is so terrifying. I wouldn't know what to do. Duh. I wonder how much experience Wonton has playing against Sephiroth because I feel like it's the second time that counter has thrown him off. Yeah. Oh, calling out the jump with the forward tilt. Beautiful. I mean, in a way, it makes sense. Uh, where Sephiroth, not really known for his out-of-shield options. He's great at keeping you out with his amazing, amazing range. But once you get in his face, it's like kind of grab and then neutral air to a certain extent. And so, yeah, I think I definitely agree with that. Just calling out the jump if you're right in his face. Oh. That was scary. Link's <laughs> recovery does. <laughs> calls the bomb off. I love that. Having just remote controlled explosives in any character is amazing. Ooh. Oh. Scary. Okay, this could possibly be big. Once again, we saw earlier Wonton was able to get a huge amount of damage onto Shy Guy once he put him on the ledge. Let's see if he can repeat that kind of success. Nope. Great call out up smash from uh, Shy Guy. That's going to be 2 0. Shy Guy moving, uh, moving up in the world. Not quite out of. Not quite uh, got this victory secured just yet. But Wonton has to do some serious. Gonna have to. I don't even know exactly what approach he should be doing differently. Getting off the ledge easier for one. <laughs> yeah. There's great adaptation from Shy Guy though because he kept getting hit by Wonton just jumping, dropping bomb, and blowing it up uh, until eventually he was like, "All right, you have bomb. I know you're gonna jump up smash." Yeah, I guess one thing about that Wonton Warrior should look to do is get just improve the punish game it felt like he was finding openings and not really getting that much out of it you know yeah. like there was one time where he shielded a dash attack from Sephiroth and he like did Z jump Z drop into nothing he yeah. like Z dropped the bomb on him and that was it when normally that's like you can even though you're holding the bomb you can still up B for instance or get more damage like that so I mean maybe he was trying to do something fancy but in that case he needs to be <laughs> oh no. Okay, so to explain wow. what just happened, uh, he's going Shy Guy here. banned Cat. No, he's not. He's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh, he's going Hero. Hero Ditto? Top deck Hero Ditto? Please. Top Please. deck Hero Ditto? No. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> These guys are taking it too seriously. So to explain what just happened, um, uh, so Shy Guy banned Kalos. Wonton Warrior with the genius play goes to the Kalos form of Battlefield. I don't even know if he wanted Battlefield or just to be him. I mean, he wanted Battlefield, uh, but maybe. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore, man. In one time, it could be anything. Oh, remember how I said he needs to improve oh, his punish game? Amazing. Well, that's what we're seeing. He's really making the most of when he's getting in. This, which is really important, especially if he's not going to commit to camping. Which we know Wonton isn't known for. <laughs> oh. Ooh, oh. That was scary. Yeah, no, actually. Let's just jump in. Alright, don't jump. Let's go. Alright, not really able to get much off of grabs right now on Wonton where these guys are neck and neck in percent. Only 0.5 separating the two of them. Those fairs off stage have been doing so much work for Shy Guy and getting such early kills. And he's been able to convert off of them. The fact that he got weak forward air meant that he could get in the range for that sweet spot to absolutely delete that next stock from, Shy, uh, from Wanton Warrior. And now Wanton Warrior needs to get in. He manages to find that forward air, which is huge. That If that lead had gotten any bigger, it would have been an absolute disaster for him. So. Wow, that was an interesting read. Unless it was just a mid Oh, yeah. It looks like the platforms are tripping up Wonton's landing aerials a little bit here. 
anytime I see that down air through a platform, it just reminds me of hummingbirds' tongues. <laughs> of what? Hummingbirds' tongues. They are huge. They go around their brains and they just come out of their giant beaks into trees, and it's terrifying. And that's what it reminds me of. I hate it. Don't Google that. <laughs> oh no. Why is it that birds' mouths in general just hor like horrifying? You've seen, you ever around. seen a penguin's mouth? I don't want. To. I feel like I shouldn't. Yeah, you, you should look it up. If you if you already have seen hummingbird tongues, you gotta look at penguin teeth, man. It's the next. It's the next evolution. I think you've got a point. I want to see a Pokemon that just like this birds penguin mouth, <laughs> penguin teeth, <laughs> hummingbird tongue. No one's ready for that. Yeah. Got him. <sighs> a beautiful edge guard from Wonton Warrior, mind gaming his opponent into air dodging off stage. The classic. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, he has the bomb in his hand. What is he going to do with it? It's just lightly tossed away. That is something about Link's bomb. A lot of other characters, if your opponent grabs the projectile, you actually got to be like, oh, out of respect it now, like Rob Gyro, Pac Man Fruit. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Link Bomb, it's like, okay, sure, you got like a worse version of Mr. Saturn in your hand. <laughs> it's just a thing. It's not even, it's hardly a projectile. You just get hit by it, take less than 1%, and probably get grabbed if you throw it. Pretty groovy. That killed. Wow. That did it. None All right. Two. That's going to be Shy Guy moving on in the winners, uh, in the losers bracket. That was losers round five. I think he's going to be in. Uh, uh, is that guaranteeing him a spot in losers semis? Keep him up there. Third game in a row. What a trooper. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to hop off the mic for just a bit, but it's All been right. a pleasure commentating with you. Pleasure. Uh, follow me on and Twitter at SaltyFun underscore SSB. I also might be back on the mic later. We'll see. Uh, in the meantime, I'm leaving you in capable hands. All right. All right. That's me, I think. <laughs> yes. I'm <laughs> not guessing. I'm assuming that's me. I think it's nice that we get to see all these Sephiroth games just because he's such a new character and we can finally see how he's doing offline. Unless Ryan was trolling and Shy Guy isn't actually coming back because I see the goat salad dressing. Unless it's Salad versus Shy Guy. That would be nice to watch. Oh, yeah, go for it. All right, bye guys. Are we good? Yeah, okay. We're All right, good. yeah, we're good. So, what are we starting? Lucy semis? Or are we doing the other side of quarters? I don't even know. I actually don't know either. Is there the bracket here? Is this touchscreen? Like, like an, oh, wait. Oh, oh, it is not touchscreen. Okay. All right, so what do we got? What do we got? Okay, so Gatsby Drunko is happening somewhere. Gatsby was 13? I guess, yeah. I heard he got a lot better. No, definitely. Absolutely. He has been popping. He was grinding mad hard over quarantine. He leveled up hard. I feel like in Westchester, the two biggest like gloves people had over quarantine, probably him and Swigzy. Not Quid? Quid was good before that. Quid beat Vinia before that. Oh, Quid yeah. was already nice. We knew he was nice. No Fair one else knew. We knew. <laughs> okay, so yeah, right, so the other side I see Shy Guy have. Oh, Shy Guy Salad, okay. I thought Shy Guy Wonton was quarters. Hi. So we're probably going to be seeing uh, Sephiroth Pengaman. Probably. I don't assume Andrew will go Joker for this. Probably not. I feel like Sephiroth has everything he needs to do on Mega Man. I feel like Sephiroth has everything. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, pick a good song. If they're going to go PS2 and they don't pick a song, I, mean, I, I actually get mad heated when people don't pick music on stages of good music. 
Well, like, I don't use game audio when I play, so... That's fair. But, that's like, if you're on stream and you counterpick Battlefield and you just, like, pick Battlefield, you're accepting the possibility that Electroplankton will play on stream, and that's, like, <laughs> that's a problem. Oh, man. This game 10 is hitting with these environmental noises. <laughs> FD, please, please, please pick a song. Please pick a song. I'm not going to tell them, but if they don't do it, I'm going to tell them. Fair enough. Please, 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 Dracula's Castle, oh, they're gonna pick, yeah, it's Dracula's Castle, they pick a song for sure. Good song, good song, good song. Okay, fair enough. Castlevania music, classically Sephiroth. fantastic. Sephiroth. These two are clowns too, so I assume if any shenanigans happen mid-set, they will probably like look at each other and laugh about it. <laughs> uh, Phantom, f oh, his. Uh, I think it's Ryan just died. Huh? I think it's Ryan just died. Megaman! All right, so we are getting into game one here. We got Shy Guy versus Salad. I haven't seen these two play in a minute. Definitely haven't seen these two play in this matchup ever. Yeah, I've never seen them play in this matchup. I have to imagine that this is very valuable for Salad because better better to learn the Sephiroth matchup in bracket here than like a bigger encore tournament or like a major or whatever. Or one that counts. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's so many Sephiroths. Like everywhere I go, someone is playing. Like, at least two people are playing Sephiroth everywhere you go. He's sick. They're always there. He's sick. No, he looks sick. He also is sick. Yeah, sure. Let's let's go with that one. I, I think Sephiroth is sick other than Wing. Shake? I can take that. Okay, cool. <laughs> he, he's literally, he just reminds me of Mewtwo, but instead of a giant tail, you have a giant sword. I mean, yeah, but he also doesn't have Shadow Ball. Yeah. Also, he has a giant sword. That's sick. Swords are so cool. Sounds... This is like exactly what I would hear from you. <laughs> Swords are sick. Yeah, definitely. Kill? Oh, try. I think. Oh, yeah. Part of the uh, issue for uh, Andrew here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're back here. Part of the issue I think for Andrew here is going to be okay, that Sephiroth's pressure. only uh, fantastic out of shield option is neutraler. So if uh, Salad gets his game plan going and he gets with like the plus downers or like the space back airs, he might actually uh, be able to assert himself a little bit more than Andrew would perhaps want. Yeah, I feel like pressuring like that is definitely, right. it's a big part of Mega Man gameplay as a whole. I feel like it's definitely huge against Sephiroth specifically. I just care to <gasps> in general. Dude, if he didn't down tilt, that would have been so much. Okay, he does. All right. Well. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Um, I also think the part of it is the uh, weight differential <laughs> between the characters. We've already kind of seen it where like Andrew got F-Smashed earlier at like 100 and he died. Most characters will absolutely live in uncharged F-Smash there. Meanwhile, Mega Man's so heavy. Yeah, Mega Man's a big boy. He got all the robot parts. Yeah. React? Why? Oh, uh, you can react to him releasing it. Oh, that's weird. Wait, you can react what? to Mega Man releasing that? I yeah, you that makes sense, yeah. If he's far enough away, you can do it. Because like he kind of like he stops blinking for a second before he shoots. Oh, nice down, nice knife. Andrew trying to get a little bit hasty and not um and not use his third jump to, to get to ledge so that he can like get back as fast as possible and perhaps like uh, change the tide and Sal taking great advantage of that. Yeah. I feel like Andrew's trying to meet him where he's at too much when he's landing though. Nice. Counter? Oh, he has oh, no jump. Wait. I went off stage, why? He had no jump. I know, but he could have just like downer. Actually, uh, I think downer he might go back on a rush. Uh, he might. If that's true, that's pretty important. Yeah. Oh. It's an impossibility. Ooh, oh, he got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's, 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 I was telling you, they, they'll both clown about stuff if shenanigans happen. Definitely an unintentional <laughs> Metal Blade catch. Yeah. 
That was hilarious. <laughs> All right, so Shy Guy taking game one, Sephiroth doing Sephiroth things, sounds you know, about right. What was kind of weird about that is Andrew didn't really get like supreme mileage out of his wing at any point in that game. He kind of just beat him with Sephiroth. Yeah. Which I, I mean, definitely go on. To be fair, I feel like Mega Man. Like, what? What about Wing would really mess up Mega Man gameplay? Other than like the armor, the super speed, being able to whiff punish Mega Man throwing projectiles is something that's super valuable, and it's why matchups like Fox are so hard. So if you have faster fall speed and faster run speed, I think that's super influential in the matchup. That's fair enough, but I feel like Sephiroth is just able to punish a lot of it just by his own already, just because of his huge range. That's true. That's definitely easier, because, you know, you're faster, so it's going to be easier. Yeah. But, like, I don't know how much, like, of a difference it's actually making. Yeah, I think definitely part of it's going to be the uh, jump reads on the part of uh, Salad. Yeah. Which has actually been hit hitting with really, really high accuracy throughout the set so far. Oh, <laughs> nice tech. Oh no, he's doing the salad. He's throwing out the plus one move. <laughs> Die? Oh, he barely was off on the back air. That and now he huge. has to fight wing Sephiroth. <laughs> Sephiroth players want one thing. Back air does so much shield damage, you're dead. Oh, wow! I'm surprised. I have no idea how he lived that. I guess he had Kalos. Uh, <laughs> I'm hurting. He just licked over you and he knew. <laughs> why would you neutral? Out of all the things, why would you neutral? Oh. Okay. Sephiroth counter. Like, that was literally pellets, but because it's Sephiroth counter, I kind of thought he would die. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Point for it is, Salad doesn't hit him with, like, a single combo after taking this dock. He's just, like, raw, like, nickel and dime him to 65. <laughs> yeah. He keeps going for these jump reads, but he's just a little barely off. You know what Andrew could definitely do there, and I, I don't—he might make this adjustment because he likes doing it a lot—is he can stab the stage with forward air while, uh, while he's charging the forward smash, and then react to him throwing it, come up in neutral air, and probably. What if he reacts and comes up and counters it? Oh my god, if he counters it, he explodes. I wonder if the counter will break, actually. If it's closer to my... Gotta hit those. Really? Up throw there, not back there. I mean, he's hitting his combo still. He's getting up throw now, at least. So That's like... true. And that that puts Everall in a really good position. Oh, Kill him no. off this? He has no air dodge? No ah. And now you're dead. Okay. Oh, a little one. Back air into back air. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> I guess. I mean, we just <laughs> saw it. <laughs> that definitely looked like it comboed. I don't know if it did or not, but definitely looked like it did. That's true. <laughs> yeah, so I was just kind of running away. Just playing the Mega Man game. Especially Mega Man with a stock lead. Yeah, definitely. Ah, uh, he goes for the yellow dash tag. Doesn't work. He's still getting Nickel and Dime. Oh my. So he jumped shit. out of up air? Why? <laughs> I feel like he should run up and reverse up smash. I actually kind of think it would work. Ooh, shy guy? Yeah. That might. He has super armor, so he can tank projectiles. Oh, yeah. Probably would then, actually. I forgot about the armor. Uh, you're going a little too ham, buddy. He lost that kill. He's at 157. I mean, that's a fair point. It's like, you know, still going way too hard for it, but he wants it. Yeah, I can just tell he wants it so he hard. He really does. Okay. All right, he got it. The yeah, there that covers the entire screen. Yes. He keeps swinging because Sephiroth is broken. I don't know. I don't think he'll keep it for that much longer, though. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was going to get up-tilted <laughs> for <Somehow>. sure. <laughs> the same interaction happens twice in a row. Well, it happened a third time. Nope. Oh, he's actually ju he's just barely off a lot of these aerials. Ooh, he actually read the jump, but he was just a little bit off, and now he's in a really oh. tough position. And he still has wing. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> and he's going to lose this game. I actually know it. My heart of hearts, I know it. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he threw the kill opportunity on the uh, on the edge guard, and it kind of really came back to bite him. <laughs> All right. So, one one. Yeah. Salad did a really good job. It's just like holding his ground, holding his footing, getting his free damage in when he could. Mm -hmm. Playing the Mega Man game. Literally, he just played the Mega Man game. Yeah. He played the lead specifically, I think, really, really well. Yeah. I wonder where Andrew's gonna go. I feel like, uh, like Kalos was a good counter pick. But I, I think I'm surprised he didn't ban Kalos, to be honest. He's his owner, so usually you ban FD Kalos. Maybe he banned FD Town? Jungle Japes, yeah. I think uh, that's something. Yes, he has Jungle Japes, the greatest counter pick. <laughs> I thought they were actually about to get a new part. <laughs> they, these two, I think, would. I know, that's why I thought they were. <laughs> I knew it. I actually knew it. I knew he was going to do the round start dash attack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they didn't get punished for it. That's true. Okay. Did he have? Probably, but he didn't. So here we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, Mario was really taking, or, excuse me, Solid was really taking a super, uh, super like passive, like campy style ever since, or after the first game. I mean, I feel like. Especially compared to like Mega Man, that's kind of what you have to do in this matchup. Yeah. Because like, you have the tools to contest Sephiroth and his range and his quote unquote camping. It's not really camping, right. Sephiroth's kind of poking. Yeah. But like, Mega Man can contest that, so he just is. I'm really happy that Andrew's not going for any of these, uh, or for any fully charged trophies of the lead, because it's actually so fake. Yeah. And I think Mario will probably be doing it. Okay, I think Zelda probably be able to get around the forward air. Nope. He tried to demolish him on the roll in. Yeah, he tried to end him. <laughs> and then completely whiff the punish on the other kill. So after throwing the kill twice, he has given up stage control. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's separate. His edge guarding is <laughs> yeah. potentially the best in the game. Other than like Pikachu, I think. Uh, not much, Joker. Joker's, Joker's. I mean, yeah, I think Arsene specifically is really, really strong. But I think Wing Sephiroth, just because he has that extra jump, is that was horrible. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> I think he probably <laughs> meant to go on the platform, is my guess. Probably. Yeah, it was a really close game. Ooh, that was actually a fantastic grab. <laughs> nice read. Kill him? Oh uh, my. Done. Remember when I said it was a close game? It appears I lied. It's actually uh it's interesting to me because the only reason that killed is because the like the bottom blast zone disappears when you spike. Yeah. I think otherwise you could have made that back. And I think that's why Andrew was so surprised that he died. I feel sorry. like Andrew could be using a lot more down tilt to catch the Mega Man recovery, you know? Yeah, probably. I haven't seen him use it. But this should be able to catch. I don't see why I won. Yeah. Punish? Ooh, that was forward throw, really. Okay, dash attack works the first time. I don't know if it's gonna work that time. Yeah. I don't know how many times it was like Mega Man dash attack is gonna work. <laughs> Getting a lot of my own oh. shield. That counter was a little weird. I feel like every time that Salad has hit him with uh, leaf shield. He's taking some pretty defensive options afterwards. He'll either shield or he'll like just shoot pellets or whatever. <laughs> Forward air. If he recovers high, where's the air dodge? No air dodge. That's Waited. actually really good landing. Yeah. Yeah, you can't hit nope. Sephiroth there. Yeah. Uh, pre quarantine, Salad was like already really good. He was one of the staples of Westchester. Definitely always did really well. He hasn't been playing a lot over quarantine, so I was kind of afraid he would like lose his footing. I don't think he did. No, He's playing he... really fine right now. Yeah, he is. I think specifically a lot of his like, I think his patience and a lot of his jump reads are really coming through. Yeah. Oh, he could die. No, he didn't die. He really got married at zero, and you said he could die. He could. <laughs> I know you he know could. I'm right. I know you're right. <laughs> of course you're right. I'm looking at a DLC character on the screen. True. 
Yeah, okay, he tries again for the jump read. Swordy quick attack does not work out. Look at a wave two DLC specifically. Ah, uh, okay. yeah, you got right. Oh my god, he DI'd out. <laughs> I think he was dead anyway, to be fair. I think maybe, he just because of his life, but he didn't have DI down in a way. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. So, Sal was taking the last two games pretty comfortably. It wasn't like a runaway, but he was able to hold the lead pretty well for both yeah. of the games. But both of those games, he could have died. He was yeah. in percent where he could have died. One of them was 54, he still could have died. He definitely could have died. Because even if you, you know, you could just get Sephiroth, like, edge guarded or whatever, but then, you know, he also has a shield break move with armor. And he can kill you with zero if he shield breaks you. Yeah, Nintendo plays us this character so well. <laughs> every other way to character. Uh, there gotta be one cool one. Hold on, it's been Min Min, it's been Steve, it's been Sephiroth, it's been Pyramid. Oh wait, okay, Pyramid is cool. Broken. Cool, it's still broken. Oh yeah, definitely I'm not, broken, I'm not saying they're, they're not cool, I'm saying they're broken. <laughs> I think that Pyramid is the only cool one. Am I forgetting one? Is uh, it, is it, it's I think Kazi, it's... you know. There's definitely someone else. Yeah, I... Uh... I Min Min, Steve... Sephiroth... Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a zero to that. Tell it turned up. After game one. Yeah. He yeah, was like, alright, I know my game plan. I shall execute it perfectly now. He acquired the download. Ooh, no damage. That was a multi hit. Pretty good counter. Actually, did like 20 though. Yeah, some of my counters does damage. I, I still don't get how that pass that counter you don't need to hit. I I just can't. I don't see how don't someone know. even thought of that. Like I don't why? Remember. Why? I don't know. Because it can break, dude, and it only hits in front of him. Oh, he's dead. That's probably the game. That's really bad. <laughs> yeah. That's a bad feeling. He uh, was trying to go very low. Uh, Salad, knowing that, preemptively going oh very high. God. That's and all then, we're about to see a Twitter clip. Yeah, please. definitely now swagging. And this was such a good set at first. Salad's actually just running away with it now. That's that's, it happens, I mean... To be shit. fair, if he takes this stock soon and then speed runs the second stock with Wing, like he just gets like a dumb Sephiroth thing, he does have it for some of the third stock, which means that it is doable. Oh, yep, okay. All that's right, what he that's needed. step one. Now step two is to shield break him. Does the Sephiroth chuckle twice? Grab, up throw, neutral. Oh my god, you gotta hit those! Okay. Don't, n never hit those actually, I guess. Uh, he can do down throw, I think. He can afford to keep uh, Salad at the ledge a lot more. He wants the. Yeah, I'm telling you, he's trying to shield run. Or <laughs> Speed run the second stock. That's this. Step two is the shield break. He almost got it. He, he got really the hit. Did. He went for it. He got the hit. This is actually super doable. If he kills him, like, without taking too much more damage, it's 100% doable. Gets ledge. He's wing. Ah, good air dodge. Wow. Back throw. He gets positioning, but you're fight. You're ledge trapping Zephyroth, so you kind of doesn't. It doesn't mean anything. Oh. Nice down air. Wow. The mix. Okay. And he gets a forward air. He does not have wing for this third stock, so that's a big letdown. He oh. does die to the back air, though. Oh. He actually almost lived. Wow. Yeah. That was that was a good set. He fall for it. He tried to bring it back. He was down so much. Yeah, that was actually quite impressive that he made it that close. Yeah. Uh, are we doing winner's finals now? Do you want to? Okay. All right. Very Wait. sad. Uh... Mario zero to death, him, and then Andrew SD'd at like 12. Oh my god, he got to zero to death? Yeah, he did. Holy and then Andrew, Jesus. S Andrew SD'd mad early, but he actually made it quite close. He took it to last stock regardless, which is really impressive. All right, I've never goodbye. seen several of Mega Man, so I wanted to see this. I have never seen Mega Man Sephiroth, so I'm kind of upset I didn't get to watch that match. It was a really good set. Oh, I bet it was not. I'm going to go back and watch those VODs because, oof. Yeah, no, that Sal was a really not good used set. Because, you know, Mario didn't play Wi-Fi. Yeah, I know. And he did not touch Wi-Fi at all. 
No, I wasn't. It was I me and Liam. Was. I was saying, literally, I was saying to Liam, I was like, you know, I know before quarantine, Sally was like one of the staples of Westchester, really solid, always did really well, really consistent, mm -hmm. stuck to his gameplay really well. I was like, I don't know how that's going to end up sticking still, because he's got to play the game again. Yeah, and, and then he hasn't really played it over the quarantine. No, he was turning up so hard that set. Like, just consistently every game, it just got worse and worse. Uh, game one was super close, Shy Guy won. Game two, super close, Salah won. Game three... Well, the wash I heard. No, game three was still pretty close. Salad was at, like, 50 on his last stock. And then game four, he was up three stocks to one. Gee, Shy Guy got up down to the last stock, but then he died to zero. Oh <laughs> or he died when uh, yeah. Mario was at zero. I just back at him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Young Gatsby versus a uh, Salad dress. I see, this is going to be a very different set than the last one. Oh, last absolutely. One, yeah, the last one was two very big, like, zoning out characters. Two very big poking at you characters playing against each other. This is Falcon now. Yeah, this is Falcon. I, this is Mr. In Your Face. Yeah. It's Mr. In Your Face, and Gatsby is the most, like, I'm going to just do it Falcon I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that is the perfect way to describe the way Gatsby plays, bro. It's just, it doesn't have to be going to do He's going to do Okay, it he did that like to Shy Guy like four times. Oh, I, I yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if you play Mar play Salad, you have to expect oh to get there. He did that to Shy Guy too. <laughs> okay, so let me t let me say something because I've never seen him do these footstool footstool dares before. <laughs> so I, there was a night, like I think like a few weeks ago. Uh, I think it was after the first like encore back. Yeah. I told Mario, so I was like, Mario, your neutral kind of remains untouched. You just, you know, there's new characters, new patches, stuff like that. You know, your neutral's still good. You just got to get your fitting back in the game. But a new thing that you need to get yourself back into even better form, you need to step up your punish game. Because I don't know if you remember any of Sal's game before, but his entire game plan was literally just, I'm going to play neutral and lame them out. Yeah. That's his game plan. And I'm just like, you need to spice it up. Once you get the read, once you get the conditioning it's on them to do what you want, Hit him with something crazy. Do like an up air, do like an up air, like metal blade toss up, like back air or something like that, bro. Just like bring something. out the schmicks. Bring out the sauce. Show them that you work in the chef in the Italian kitchen for for a reason, man. <laughs> Got a sauce on him. That's crazy. We're all talking about that last set. Uh, me and Liam were talking about how salad. He really wasn't getting combos like that last set. He just kind of kept poking, and the number was going up. Mm, that's his plan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the Mega Man plan. That's literally that's how Mega Man games work. That's how Mega Man in this game works. Yep. He's going to keep poking. It's just, like, just chipping away. But it's like then this character with the insane punish games like Falcon, where it's like, I feel like you can't just chip away against Falcon. I mean, you could, but then you risk, like, you know, exploding at a random percent. I mean, that's just the curse of playing a zoner. Oh. <laughs> yes, it is. Unless you play one with a crazy fun of game like, oh, like Samus Rob. or Rob, yeah. Oh my god, Rob, I don't even call Rob a zoner anymore, bro. That character does that crap. He's just Rob. He's just Rob. He's just broken. He just pushes the funny Nair button and then he goes, and then, then you stop, goes boom. Yeah. Ugh. This character's obnoxious. Down there is still plus one. They didn't change that from Mega Man. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it really does much. <laughs> it is plus one on blocks. It's, yeah, it's one of the few <laughs> plus one. It's one of the few plus moves in the game. I think it's like, and it doesn't even do much. No, no. What is the? Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, Gatsby's trying to go off. Down, Gatsby. Gatsby. I need you to calm down. Go. What are you going for? Who is he there? He landed on that well, platform. He just My extended God. anyway. Yo, remember when Salah was down three to one, or was up three to one? He was up. He was up three stocks to one, and now we have this. It don't matter. <laughs> like I told you, man. Like. I mentioned this earlier. You get touched by Falcon, you just blow up at a random percent. Especially by Gatsby. Oh, okay. If he gets momentum, he will ride it as long as he can because he knows when it's gone, it's going to have to fight for it. Exactly. Jesus Christ. Gatsby's a nutcase. Bro. He's just doing it. No. This is what I said before. He just does it. The most if there is an do it, Falcon. If there is an option he can do, he's just going to fucking do it because he can. He's just going to throw it out instantly. Oh, instantly. <laughs> and then Silas is going to down air him anyway. Oh, my God. That edge guard is so free, but Jesus Christ. On stage, it's like fighting in a, a minefield, bro. It's so crazy. Oh, my God. It's, t it's terrifying. Both it's people. absolutely <laughs> terrifying for, for, uh, for like both of them, really. Is that we were gassing Gatsby up for a good like 30 seconds and he just got down there immediately? Yeah. Jesus Christ, that's the, that's, ugh. I would even say his momentum got snatched from him. It just, he just got edge guard. That's, that's yeah. how the massive goes. Literally, that's how Falcon goes. Mm hmm. Sometimes you just get hit off stage and you die, and you gotta hold that. Pain. Pain for him. Into on a longer stage. 
Uh, I guess Falcon's gonna do better combos on the stage. So Wait, Gatsby took him here? Gatsby took him here. It's like, just don't wait for him to run and like, I mean, you know, avoid the projectiles. But Gatsby, it's like, like Falcon, can get like really early up air strings to that platform and get like super early kills, but I don't know how he's gonna get oh, those starters. I don't think it's just that. From what I've heard, Gatsby just likes Scalos. No, no, he definitely just likes Scalos. I, I definitely confirm just like he just likes Scalos, <laughs> but like, I'm trying to think of it as like a matchup point of view. How does that help him? I, I stopped thinking like that. Because it's just like, you know, he just likes the stage. Yeah. Jesus Christ, he really tried to down here. <laughs> I thought he was about to combo off that. I'll smash one. I was like, wait, what game are you playing? Oh my god, the same melee. Don't do that. Oh my god. Ooh, Is he dead? No. Oh yeah, I just jumped back. Okay. He went for that G? What is wrong with him? <laughs> Ooh, oh, okay. That's something also that... Mar Sal's really good at too. Parry game? Kind of ridiculous. His parries are nice. They're always crucial. That's why I like those parries. He doesn't just like ever get a parry and then do nothing. <laughs> Alright, it happens. Okay. <laughs> Mistakes were made. He just played like... This is the sixth game he's playing in a row. It's gonna happen. Yeah, the random SD. He's just like, oh, what? I'm going to go for that. Jab luck. You know what? I feel like... One of the ways Gatsby plays is like, again, you're right, to just do it neutral. But it seems like he's always ready to just, he's always ready for like the random defensive option. Whether like you gotta take in, take away, I don't know. He's randomly ready for it. And it's That's insane. part of the just do it. It's, I'm just gonna read your defensive option. Yo! Like you saw him just read a second. Oh my god. Had to read there, but it's just like talking off fast, not hidden behind. Yeah, see, Gatsby, he has fundies. The thing is, he has melee fundies. <laughs> and he's playing ultimate, so. I see. You know, that explains why Falcon is just like not like any other Falcon you see in this game. Yes, it's a melee Falcon. Jesus it's Christ. It's crazy because he plays Fox in that game. What? I'm not the, I, I, From the way he plays the Falcon here, I would think he plays Falcon in melee. Nope, he plays Fox. <laughs> what the heck? And Sal coming out with patent leaf shielding. If it's not down air, it's leaf shield. That's his favorite move to use. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. And now he's just not going to get a chance to go in. Yeah, Salas is playing the, all right, I have huge lead. You come at me now. And then he's playing the, I'm going to punish you for that. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, that's kind of just all she wrote. It's just like, the Salas is dominating the nooch. I mean, think of it like this. If Gatsby gets the grab, that could be the stock. I don't know if it will be, but it could be. It'll definitely put him in an unfavorable situation. Or, oh, or Raptor Boost. He can die. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? Bro. <laughs> it was at like 30. <laughs> my god. <laughs> Bro, you were at like 30. Yo, I was so scared you were going to die. Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> no way. He was at 30. Yo, Gatsby, you gotta relax, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was really at 30. That's crazy. Oh, my God. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <All right>. I, <laughs> next game. <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'm so just can't believe it. That was the most YOLO force that I've ever seen in my life. I mean, he kind of had to. <laughs> it was a yellow situation. Yes, it was. It was like, yo, let's do or die right here. I need to stop. Hmm. <laughs> that wasn't do or die. That was stun or die. <laughs> <laughs> that was do or die. He was going for a grab. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, he went for an F smash. Jesus. Gatsby, always, Gatsby plays for the people. I, that's what his man do. He plays for the people. He plays for himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We're like, waiting for the people he wouldn't have smashed there. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That's what the people want to see. No, well, people want people a heart attack. Why the knee? <laughs> because he can. It lingers. Big no. linger hitbox. That's true. Right there on the ledge. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I'm just still, like, shocked from that. He really hit a side to be at center stage at, like, 14 and almost got a kill. Oh he almost God. ran away with the game because yeah. of that. <laughs> Only an ultimate. Why? He's only Ultimate Falcon. Ooh, I've seen him do. I heard that he, that's what he does. He just jab, jab, and then he reads your jump. He jab, jab, and he reads your jump. Jab, jab is just good. Not this is as Falcon. Jab, jab is just an option. It's just pressure. 
Because if you try to do something to punish the jab jab, you can react and throw out the third jab. If they try to do a defensive option, you can read it and kill them. Ooh. Ridiculously good. Like, Falcon needs more mix. I think. I mean, I think it's fine. Oh, uh, yeah. It's definitely cool. It's not like he has a ton of mix. It's just jab jab. Yeah. He's the reward for getting that jab jab. It's kind of wild. He has, like, jab. He has jab jab. He has a ridiculous tech chasing. He has that insane oh. combo game. He has the ability to chase you off stage and kill you because he can. And then come back like nothing happened. Oh, dear God. That's conditioning, man. This option coverage is on point. Ooh. What a reaction. That's a good reaction there. Maybe Snap just kind of went for. Oh, this is scary. Nice. They are out on that up there so they didn't get hit by a knee and die. I thought it would have ran off the knee. Oh. So there's two. <laughs> Give Shy Guy none. Give <laughs> Gatsby <laughs> two. We have a game four? <laughs> I guess. Oh my goodness. Are we the only venue that runs town as a starter? I don't know. Probably not. I'm sure there's one somewhere that does. Uh, I've just never seen it before. I'm so used to town being a counter pick. Right here. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we're on PS2 for this game. Okay, okay, this is a this is the home of salad dressing. Alright, so Usually, when I see someone go from down 0-2 to starting to try to bring a setback and get a game, it's not from them two-stocking and shredding and just pressuring for four minutes straight. <laughs> so... I don't know, maybe Gatsby figures from now. Maybe figure out the type, the type of buckwild energy he needs to beat, to beat Salad Dressing. Yeah, he didn't add more patience to get through the projectile zoning. He added more randomness. Yeah. Like that down smash How that should that not have end? worked, but because it was Gatsby, it did. It's Ga so we got Gatsby for this. It's the Gatsby effect. The Gatsby <laughs> <laughs> The Gatsby effect. I like that one. That's what it is now. I have coined the term, the Gatsby <laughs> effect. <laughs> I have to remember that the guy's just like he just he just goes buck wild and then somehow you lose your stock. <laughs> Literally. He can lose your stock. Nice job, my air dodging there. That's He'll just hit the. Be oh my. Oh my God. <laughs> the air wobble. Aired him like four times. Oh, yeah, that's that's the air wobble. Something never changed. <laughs> what? It never changed. Bro, he's going me. off right now. Go. The Gatsby effect in full force right now. It's in full swing right now. The jab one reset into the grab Gatsby. I would think. Oh, he should have. Oh dear, man. I, I, if I was out, I would not want to be off stage versus Gatsby when he has this much momentum. But he's going this insane right now. Oh, my. he is going for game. Yeah, he went for game with that. <laughs> he wants Alice to die again. How are you going to do this? That was kind of slippery right now, moving just out of guys and clutches. Yeah, there you go. Okay. How is he going to do this? I'm talking about gas because it's like, <laughs> it's last dog salad, but it's like, gas still has all, it's, it's last dog salad and Falcon has no momentum right now. The momentum's kind of been like halted, there's a brick in the road. Yeah, he hasn't gotten hit in a minute, and yeah. he's going for kills still. Okay, now gas is getting a little bit too antsy. I got the offense going too far into full force. Yeah. <laughs> we need to tell him like a tiny bit. Okay, maybe a little bit bad. more oh, than boy. a tiny bit. Now he's off stage. Okay, no. Still on. In the corner versus Mega Man. That's the, I wouldn't want to be there. Nowhere to run away from the, from the pellets. Oh, good idea for Salad. That's ah, it. but just not enough. 
Alright, so Gatsby kind of saw some of the last two games, but Salad was bringing that last game back pretty well. Like, he was doing a really good job of just staying solid, holding his ground, and just beating Gatsby out for a good, like, minute. Mm hmm. He just got unfortunate with uh, the aggressive option from Ledge. Yeah. Not his best bet. Not, but, I mean, when you're at Ledge at a percent like that, you gotta do something. Mm -hmm. Alright, we gotta get this game five. I'm gonna see a reverse trio. I feel we like might. It, we it, really it, might. They, they've been happening all night. Have they been? I have not been paying attention. <laughs> they've been happening. Like, I did one. Shane did one. Crazy. Shane did, like, two. Uh, I don't know who else did them. Alright, I feel like something we're going to see just from both of these players, honestly, just because it's the game five pressure now. I think they're both going to try to take a step back. But the thing is, Gatsby's you been think getting Gatsby? his bit. I think he's gonna take a step back. But the thing is, I think he's gonna stop at some point. I think he has been, honestly. Even if he still like has the lead, everything. I think he's been taking it slower. I don't think he is taking it slower. He's still in his face, going buck wild. No, just look at the way he's playing neutral compared to like how it was before. Not Maybe not as much now because he has a good lead now. He's sitting a lot more comfortably. But he's still playing a lot more patiently than he did before in terms of like neutral. Obviously, when he has solid off face, he's still gonna try to go off just as hard because he can. Jabs from Falcon, very good. Probably good. Gatsby was choosing to go high and not getting super hard punished for. Okay, I lied. But, uh. What? Oh, okay. Like that. <laughs> I did not think something like that would connect, but here we are. <laughs> Oh, nice up B. Falcon has a scoop. What? So I guess up there just beat that. Just straight up just beat it. Uh, yeah, he's dead. Oh, the salad is back on his feet. Well, I wouldn't say he's back on his feet. He's still sitting at 89% against, against this crazy Falcon. Well, I mean, yeah, he's down 90, but at least it's on the same stock count now. Mm -hmm. He can chip that back. It'll take a while, but he can do it. We also saw in the first couple games, he was getting insanely early edge guards. That is true. Not so much in the last two. I feel like it's been one of the bigger differences is Gatsby's is not dying early anymore. But he's more of a it's, chance to play. But he still yeah. he still keeps going high. He takes like thirty percent for going high instead of just going straight yeah, to the left. He doesn't get down air. That is true. Oh my god, that is just so unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, you know, you take thirty or you die. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a Mega Man thing. That's just Salad there hitting these down airs. Plus yep. one. Okay. <laughs> plus one, baby. <laughs> I don't know if Gatsby knows it's plus one. Yeah, he better know now. Because <laughs> I saw that Raptor boost come out, but it's just like it did not matter. I saw him land with that down. I was like, oh, he's going to match a button and it's going to work. It's plus mm -hmm. one. Oh, dear. Jesus. So yeah, Salad brought knew. the game back. He just sure. knew. He was ready for it. And now Salad he's running away with it. it. I think he's dead. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh. He almost died. He almost died. That's crazy. That. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my. Just, the knuckles just barely missed his forehead. Oh my. Oh! No. oh. <laughs> <laughs> the reversal! The reverse edge guard. And he's dead. Uh -oh. That reversal oh is part of the Gatsby God. effect. Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> Alright. So, Salad has a gauntlet of bracket matches ahead of him. Next one's coming up. Who is, oh my god, wait, it's Noku? Nick, and then if he beats Nick, he's playing Liam and Grins. Oh he, this is back to back to back goodness. to back. He's playing four sets in a so row. So it has to be so, so first of Shy Guy, then Gatsby, then Noku, and then Venom? Oh my god. And he's been having good sets too. Yes, he so has. He has not had a break. The salad special, it is. A His break was in between games two and three of that set. Yeah. <laughs> the salad special, it is. The down air, the down air <laughs> up to. Oh my goodness. Wait. Gatsby. Gatsby. <laughs> Bro, it just. You, uh, every time you see him down, you just gotta think of Sal's doing. Oh my god. Alright, they're doing PSG to start. As they so, do. So. Hmm. 
That's loser. That's loser finals. It is loser finals, and uh, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I have no clue because we all remember when Salad okay. had no clue's number. Yeah, before huh? Wait. Name your request. <laughs> Uh, I want you guys to do banjo dittos. But Nick's not going to agree to that because he's sweaty. <laughs> 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 Alright, so the thing about pre-quarantine, though, in terms of this matchup for Nick... Wait. <laughs> he hated this matchup. Uh, he played the Master 101, or Smasher 101. Not the Master. Uh, yeah, he played Smasher 101, that Mega Man player, a lot over quarantine on Wi-Fi. Oh, boy. So, Salad still really good. He's been playing really well. He just beat Gatsby and Shy Guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know who else he beat this bracket. He's gonna have not been paying attention. So but he's been playing Smash 101. Yeah. Okay. So I know Smash 101 and Salad are two different Mega Man, but I think uh, Smash is up, has better results than Salad. Like yeah. Salad and Trap is just a better Mega Man than Salad. No disrespect to my boy. <laughs> So that's for bad. So that's kind of, it might be a little grim for Sal, because we all know Sal had no clue's number pre quarantine. Yeah, but yeah, that's just another thing is it was a mix of Sal is really good. Sal is really good at zoning, and Nick usually sucks for zoners that are weird. Mega Man's definitely a zoner that's pretty weird. 100%. That's a good idea. This, like, Wolf and get the, not Wolf I'm just side B and get the uh, fast one off him. Oh. Oh. He went so deep for that and it didn't make a difference. No, but it's it literally just added on to the number and that was it. Okay, I nice read on the spot dodge. Ooh, oh. that big old back air. Ah, uh, yes, this is already the back air. The move is huge. Big for no reason. Doesn't need to be. It's so big because he just swoops his tail downwards and like up and around. Yeah, it's, it's he just uses all of that massive meaty tail. <laughs> None of it gets at the Z axis. All of it is hitting you. Yes, and it's so annoying that it's like you think you're up the sock and you get back so bad. Not only is it just meaty, it's just it's it's massive. It's strong. Yeah, it's strong, it kills you at twenty and it's huge. Mm. Yeah, PT players wanna complain about Zard. Not I mean, Nick. Have every right to. Oh, Nick doesn't complain about Zard? No. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's Nick. I might be Nick. I think he thinks Zard's the best Pokemon. That sounds like something Beast would say. It's one of the two. But yeah, Nick Zard is dead. Pretty crazy. It's <laughs> dead, but it's still pretty crazy. <laughs> It's just another thing about like how Nick plays as a whole, how he's always played, is he will hit you once, and depending on how much percent he does, that's how well he's playing. Okay. So if he's, so he's playing, playing good, really he well. will hit you once, get you to like 90, get you at ledge, and kill you, and that's it. That's kind of what happened here. <laughs> yeah. The salad, because oh my god, that Squirtle touched him at the first time, he took like what, 57? Squirtle can get that off literally a straight hit. It's crazy. Squirtle's... Kinda stupid. Ridiculous. Oh, he's oh, dead. Yeah. Even without that down there, he was dead. And now we have Zard. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, Zard is not here to say. Oh, he should have died. Oh, he should have died again. Should have. And there we go. Oh, it, it, oh, it, All right, what? He died. I think because he switched, and then his hurt box was bigger because IB he died. <laughs> <laughs> IB just being bigger than Squirtle got him killed. Yo, talk about unfortunate. Hey, we down to the last talk situation. <laughs> Oh my god. Salad playing the salad game. Hit them, hit them, chip away the stock with the lemons. You know, I learned that grab, F, that uh, F tilt grab is not true. Wait, for who? Squirtle? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, uh, it's, it's, it's mixed. It's not true at all. You can definitely jump away from that, but it's, 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 it's so hard to react to that F tilt. Yeah, but like, it, yeah, it's not true, but what are you gonna do? You gonna see yourself getting F tilted and shield? Oh wait, that's gonna get grabbed. Uh, oh no. You're not gonna see yourself getting F tilted and jump. No, unless unless you're mashing. Unless you're calling out the grab or mashing. Yeah, you're not jumping there. <laughs> but you can't even call out the grab, so you can just F tilt again instead. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's literally like a five-way. Oh dear God. 
ready for it. I feel like he definitely read that roll in, but he just wasn't confident enough in the read on the roll to get a kill off of it. Yeah, I mean, that's why he kind of stuck with the backer for the safe option. But, I mean, he, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was saying, he has a really solid ledge trap. He had a really solid edge guard there due to close out the game. Didn't let anything up. He, he was like, all right, I have Nick at ledge here. I have him at the corner. If I don't kill him here, that's bad. So I'm going to just hold my ground and kill him here. I'm not going to force it, but I'm going to get it. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. Clean edge guarding. Yeah, that was really clean. That was just really good ledge pressure in general. So maybe Salad does still have his number. Maybe, maybe, maybe. There's a chance. It's a possibility. So I don't know. What, I don't know if Salad did any visual learning over quarantine with Smash at all. But uh, I don't know. Maybe he's just slowly the gears in his head and his hands are starting to turn like the robot he is. Maybe he did the best type of improvement and just improved upon himself. So now he's just more confident in his play and smash and, and everything else. Worked on himself. You know who worked on himself a lot? Stir. Cause I saw, you, saw the, you saw the man last week? I've been seeing that man on his streams, on Insta, and everything. Yeah, no, nah, he's he looking amazing right yes, now. Yes, he is. I'm trying to get like that. I'm trying to get right like my boy. <laughs> Yeah, we back on? Okay, we're back, yeah, we're back on. Solid. Set out pretty good, decent lead here. Running away with it a little bit. Like this game does not look. It's 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 an even game. It's an even season. Oh, game for right sure, now. for sure. Ooh. A Noku special. Well, uh, it's an even game in the sense of they can both die right here. They're both in percent where a kill is possible. And the percent lead, you can get that back with like a hit or two. Not even get that literally one good straight hit. Yep. But having a percent lead as Mega Man, even if it's not big, it's just good. Nice. That being said, the same applies to being at a deficit. It's not good. Yep. Oh my Especially God. when it's a stock deficit. I feel like just a big thing about how these games are going to go between these two is I feel like they're both just going to snowball each other mad hard. And that's going to be how every game goes. Yeah, I can see that. Unless Nick cheeses, which is very possible with a character dead. like PT. Yeah, he's, he's gonna snowball. Yeah. Not hard. And I feel like it's just a lot harder to break through a PT snowballing with momentum than a Mega Man. Just because PT kills you so early. Not to mention, like, PT can also just change the pace of the game by switching to a brand new character. Yeah. So it's like once like, you adjust it to one character, they pull up the next one, and it just, uh. Yeah. Literally, Squirtle gets a stray hit and then gets oh, you dude. to 60, and then the other two can both kill you with a good combo at that 60. But the sword doesn't have to be a good combo, just be a back air off stage. And it's just really hard to come back against something like that. It's just something like just that threat. Is that being a thing? But I don't know, we'll see what the salad does. So far, it's looking pretty bad for this game. Still looking pretty bad Still for this game. Pretty bad. Can he just keep this camping neutral up? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if he can camp it out because he's down really bad right now. And Squirtle is he, on him like white on Yeah. I mean, he has the time if he wants to like play the patient game a bit just to get some chip in, but he's gonna have to make moves. He doesn't have the percent to work with to not be making moves. Okay, that's, I mean, started something. You know, so he's still got some fight left in him. He has all the time he needs, but again, that percent, he's got to do some shit, or he's gonna die like soon. Ah, oh, no, he's ready for it. Not gonna kill him. Oh, I thought yeah. it wasn't like, Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. That's whatever. The difference between a training bracket and the regular one? Training uh, is all best of five and it doesn't count for anything. Yeah. Doesn't count for reality. It's literally just like everything best of five, so it's like, hey, you can get as much practice in as you need. Yeah. And it's also cheaper to enter this one. Yeah. And um, it doesn't count for anything. Does not at all. Then Thursday just offers the regular bracket. That counts for something. <laughs> PR. Oh, look. Sub request. Um, Infinite. Oh, wait, this hasn't been updated. Um, Gerudo Valley. 
Hold on. Go, there's only two of them. Play the first one. <laughs> First, the swimming player wants Gerudo Valley. Ben -ne -ne -ne. <laughs> and it's not even from my game. <laughs> That's uh, Dragon is Island. I wouldn't is, know that. Dragon is still. You haven't played Rollmaker? I haven't played a single Legend of Zelda game. I also haven't played a single Kirby game. Wait, for real? I'm Yo. not a Nintendo kid. I just play Smash. I'm a PlayStation kid. I'm a PlayStation kid too, but it's like, I got the Game Boy. So and then my I. cousin let me link to the past, and I was like, I'm in love. Yeah, you know what I played on that Game Boy? I played what? Sonic and Mega Man, a Pokemon. <laughs> that respectable. I actually didn't play that many Sonic games growing up. <laughs> I played them on the Game Boy and the DS, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> so you played Sonic Rush? Uh, I might have. I think with, I did. I was on Blaze. Alright, either way, 1-1. One, one. Game 3. <laughs> I would have to keep this. The Squirtle, Squirtle's a problem. Absolutely. Squirtle's definitely the best zone breaker out of three by far. Oh, look at him. He just, he gets in on you super well. He's super good at avoiding stuff, and you can't get him off. For such a small turtle, he's pretty fast. Yeah, for a turtle? Doesn't make any damn sense. But you know what, Sakurai, it's your game. You act like anything on this character makes sense. Nothing <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, what in this game actually makes sense? None of the Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Literally not a single one. Oh my god, like, look at, look at YouTube. Why YouTube is YouTube no light? Oh, that's the solid mix-up. I mean, that's just a regular Mega Man mix-up. See that all the time. How's my thing got a blessed nice jump. Oh, this is huge. This, uh, that, yeah, him getting that is super huge. Mm. Okay, maybe not. If he got that star, then that would have been. Yeah, I thought the Nick opportunity was, was there. I thought Nick was gonna hold for the left strap, but he just kind of he wanted it all. He didn't get it. I mean, it happens sometimes. You gotta go for the gamble. He wanted to lose. Let's see what happens. So far, he didn't lose the stock, so he didn't really lose much for it. Ooh, my and he God, he died. Top platform. What the? Max Rage hell? Arc. And the craziest part, he's not gonna die. No, he's not. Megaman got no kill throws. Literally, if you got killed by a heavy, the worst part about it is just losing your rage. Yep. Literally, it's the worst part about it. Not the damage they can do after being huge for hitting you twice. Not the fact that they can kill you off 40 again because now they have nice rage. that you don't have your rage to kill them with because they're not going to die now. No, they're just going to sit there and play with that rage and then you're just there struggling. That was even, it's even worse on Wi-Fi, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> Yeah, we are here to avoid that. We're done with that. That's no longer relevant. Yes, it is. And Westchester offline is back. <laughs> <laughs> we are here to stay. Not choosing to play around the Metal Blade. I, know, I feel like you should have kept that Metal Blade and tried to like, do some Z-dropping stuff. Cause I feel like Sword of definitely... Well, you take away Mega Man's Metal Blade, you take away a huge part of the neutral. Yeah. I think Mega Man is really well designed. So, mm -hmm. I think one of the few characters in this game that's actually well designed. That could have been super unfortunate. Oh, the bot saved it, oh. but he still got F space. He's, he's alive. alive. The, bro. Okay, Salad's getting to stage in these air dodges have been crazy. <laughs> How he did he make it through that? I don't understand. I have said that for like every set he has played so far at least once. How? Oh, that up there is sharking him. Team has been so back and forth. I thought they were just going to snowball each other, but here we are. Oh, is that going to kill? My didn't. No edge guard? No edge guard. Nah, he's going to stay for the F tilts. Not going to get it though. Ooh. Oh. Back to neutral. Wasn't ready for he that. Choked the punish. Yep, back to neutral. Wasn't ready. Back in. Not enough. These sets are so close. This game is so unnecessarily close. Oh my god. That's the stock. Yeah. Flying to the blast zone. Another top pin. Trying to take it off. Easy to kill. Okay. How is he ready for it? Oh, the powders are so good, man. 
This is such a different game. Look at the timer. How's it been that long? Nick hasn't been getting his hits in. And they just it's just been it's really just been solid neutral. No huge punish. But like the only time we saw a huge punish is at the beginning of the game. Actually not even. He didn't even get a huge portal combo there either. Yeah, he's been getting like three hits. Alright, Sal getting his footing in a little bit, getting a lot of chip damage in real quick. Oh boy. Yeah, it would have been scary if he was an Ivysaur, but a nice read. That's still scary. Double mm -hmm. roll coming out. Remember, every Pokemon has a kill throw. Sadly, yeah. How does Scroll have a stronger kill throw than Tomb Raider? You're not questioning, you don't need answers. <laughs> Ooh, the mix up for once. Metal Blade Grab is like, it feels like that is always true. Nick always do forget of him. That was huge. This game's so close. Yeah, it's such an important time. game too. Is this for count effect for game five? Now look at the clock. Put that's at crazy. the clock. The game's not gonna time out, but that's still crazy. No. Oh my god, it was the backer right there. Yo! We're really 36 seconds left. That game really almost went to time for no reason. <laughs> Crazy. Pat's laying him out because he couldn't figure out a way to get in. And now Salah has counter pick for game five. Mm -hmm. Which is huge. If he loses this game, he has something to fall back on. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. Man, Yoshi's from Smashville. I overheard that. And they just went right back to Battlefield. I don't see a reason to not really. go back there. Yep. I mean, fair enough. It's not like he lost that game because of the saves. That game was super close the mm. whole time. Neck and neck. The score is 2 on. Jesus Christ, you can't smell so hard yet that he literally <laughs> couldn't recall the set count. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. What a set, dude. The salad's going off. Okay, game four out on set point. It's oh. Oh, okay. okay, that That's bummer saved safe. his life. Yeah, he was getting upbeat if that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> he was dying for sure. Holy shit. He really would have died at 60 if he didn't hit that crash bomb. Oh, 100%. Right? That crash bomb, he saw into the future. That crash bomb was going to save his life. We're really going to have another one of these games. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to in this one game so far. Nick was up pretty big at first, and now Salad then just stopped getting hit, and he got like 30 to death or something like that. All because he got hit by that crash bomb. Literally. <laughs> that crash bomb ruined his edge. I, like, I feel like Nick is like... In a weird way, he's playing like a Falcon player, where it's like he had all that momentum, and the second he lost it, he crumbled. Yeah. And I really don't view Nick as a momentum-based player, but that's really what happened there. Yeah. He needs all the momentum in fighting, in fighting against Salad. This is definitely going to, like, this is just, you know, just a draining set. I'm drained to watching it, and it's mm -hmm. not even over, and I'm not playing. <laughs> what happens, man? Salad has played his match up the way, a certain way. Yep. Well, I feel like he hasn't played match a certain way because he hasn't played in a while. What a mix. He hasn't played in a while. He's fighting a better character, and he's fighting a character that he cannot <laughs> play a close quarters game with, or he will no. get destroyed <laughs> against anything other than Ivysaur. But why would he? Why would Nick be playing Ivysaur other than to like kill him at 60? Mm -hmm. I think 
Sal's in there. By there, I mean it's the him in his head. That's uh, so something I noticed in the, about Nick recently. He only really plays Ivysaur if his opponent is offstage and he has you in a corner. That was not good DI. That yeah, was that not was, good that DI. Was pretty, that was pretty weird DI. I don't know if I don't know how much it mattered, but that was some pretty bloody DI. Because I've seen Zard live back at a higher percent. I didn't see what percent he has. Uh, oh, I could like, just tell from the knockback that I was like, eh, that yeah. should not have killed, I don't think. Ah, he's dead. There he's dead. Right. Nick got something on the board. A little a little bit of a, a little bit of a boost. Right. No, he's not out of here yet. For one Squirtle String into a back throw back air with Zard, and the game is even. I and I mean even, because right. 70% don't matter with Ivy. Mm -hmm. I, I hate that you're right. Okay, now it won't be even, but still doable. <laughs> you have to smash twice. <laughs> All right, we see the IV neutral. Okay, if you got that grab there, that would have been huge. That would have been like 30. Are you kidding? So I was doing a really good job of just staying right out of vine range. Yeah, it's like I don't know how you he just micro adjusted compared to uh, the last couple games. And then again, I think that I just still hasn't really been hitting him with uh, vines and all that. Like most of the damage has been coming out from oh. Portal and Zard. Jesus. That was still a really good set, even though that game kind of a wash. That game three was insane. That, oh my god, almost went to time! For no reason! Like, bro! Alright, so now we have the grand finals. We have Liam, we have Phantom versus Salad. Not the grands I was expecting, to be honest. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know either. <laughs> They want to do Kazuya did or er, whatever <laughs> name is it is. <laughs> Y'all want to do Kazuya did us? Yeah. <laughs> Are they doing it? I think they're doing it. I think they're changing the switches to do it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> this is amazing. Stalling the bracket for, yeah, Wait, for Kazuya did us. Y'all going to do Kazuya did us? <laughs> <laughs> really stolen back here for Kazu, you did us. <laughs> Wait, which one? Oh, and a sliding tackle thing. So, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna say this now. I literally didn't see the direct for Kazuya's moveset and everything. I have no idea what this character does. I just know oh. he can double jump cancel. All I know is that Kazuya has. Yes, it is just you literally just press that A. He button. has like four roots of his jab alone. One of them is a ten hit combo for no reason. Yep. I and mean, those you, you, you SDI out easily. You, you you don't get hit by it. Huh? Oh, Moon Sliders. Yes, it is. So you either play the songs you're gonna play that are my favorite. Moon Sliders is cracked. Uh, Kitsch is also really good. And I think there's another song for Tekken 5. Hmm? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Eh. The song the song that they didn't put in that I'm really upset is the uh, Equator line from Tekken 7. Oh my. Mix. A little bit of mix. It starts off heavy and then it's like the drop is insane. Really good. Oh, man. Seeing Kazuya maybe want to get back into the second. <laughs> hmm? I know. It's just that I don't want to deal with this new chick. <laughs> <laughs> because females in Tekken are always toxic. Sounds about right. Yes. Wait, this is a remix? All right, first person in Korean backdash wins. Ah, uh, there is no, there is no normal version. Whoa. Huh? Yeah, I, I can hear it. It is a remix. It, it, it's not bad, but it's not, it's not, it's just, it's, it's not, not the same. It's not the same at all. Actually, it kind of bumps. I'm not gonna hold you. It still bumps. It's not the same. <laughs> Purple jumpsuit, yes sir. Purple monkey suit, I'd say. <laughs> 
So you got what are the skins? He has like I don't I don't really care about the pants skin, but he has black suit, purple suit. What's going on now? Ah. All right, this it's a different guy. switch. Oh, okay. Yeah, you think the game's updating that fast? <laughs> <laughs> like, just the switches. They would have taken like five minutes. That's a fact. I got to update as soon as I get home. I know he's got a lab cost here until I get bored. Sam, but I don't know where my power adapter is. I don't know how much charge my switch has. Oh my god. <laughs> it might be in Nick's house. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll figure it out eventually. You'll find it. You'll yeah. find it. This character will, this character's combo. I mean, I want to figure out what his combos are. All I just know is that if his highest damage combo starts from getting the electric, as I'm going to laugh. So that's literally how you do all these big combos in the actual Tekken. <laughs> you get the electric wing god uppercut, and then you get A, all your big combos. It's probably going to be game, a ton of stuff off of that. And in this game, electric stuns. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a ton of stuff off of that. I still have no idea what I'm going to be looking at. I have never seen this character. Who switches this? What is my, oh, this is the one James and I just played on. Okay. Yeah, it's probably one of the encores. Play the suit. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. That's fair. Ooh, Go! Demon Pants from Tekken 4, I think that is. Oh, no, that's Jin's. Okay. For context, Jin Kazama is his son. Uh, all right. <laughs> Ten hit combo. <laughs> oh, my God. That just looks so funny. Oh, my God. That is corny. That looks so funny. That is corny. <laughs> oh, my God. There's the rage drive. 40%? What? Wild. What did I just look at? That was his. He got so when Kazuya gets rage, right? He gets access to his rage drive, which is basically like um super powered version of one of his old moves. Same thing. Same thing happens in Tekken. Okay, I am so lost. I have no clue what I'm looking at. Is this still Smash Ultimate? This, this is. Is this, this a is, mod? This is Super Smash Ultimate. <laughs> you you lose rage if you miss it a few times, or you oh can just up B. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Oh, I thought he died. So, fun fact. You can't uh, side B and then only shoot. You can't side B and um, and recover at the same time. So you can't use side B. That killed him? The hell? Anyway, so you can't use side B and uh, up B in the same to recover at once. Okay. I guess that makes sense since up B just put you in free fall. Yeah. So this is what we're doing now. Yes, laser zoning. So wait, is this the projectile that everyone is saying is going to make so you can't camp this character? If so, I'm camping the hell out of this character. Exactly. See how slow that thing is? Oh my god, that was a demon uppercut. Yeah, I still have no clue what I'm looking at. And it has been two minutes, so I think I'm just going to camp him. I think that is going to be my answer. Absolutely. I saw a picture, I saw a picture on Twitter that said, so Min Min just saying, hey, I still beat I beat this character. Alright, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need these zoom ins oh to God. stop happening. Yeah, I'm gonna need these zoom ins to calm down. Nah cause man, those zoom ins are here to stay. <laughs> he just kept going he anyway! Just he, he just kept doing it! it. Oh the demon uppercut! Do it again. Okay, the up smash works. The up smash is quick! That was nice, super quick. And there's the double up tilt. And he's dead. They got the raid drive sound too, that's so great. He just got jabbed and almost died for it. I don't think that will kill. Not for a later percent. Good. Demon okay. uppercut, just mink. That is. Kazuya <laughs> Mishima. Wins. This character is... I still have no clue what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mario, to do the demon uppercut, you just DP. Sure you know. Oh, 10 hit really does 50. No, I know. I, it's just so difficult. Because I be, I be trying to do the actual, like, um... 
the actual like Mishima dash, which is like forward, pause, down, uh, then it's down diagonal. Mario's wearing the pants. He's wearing the suit. <laughs> Now they both have monkey suits. <laughs> yes, mash that eight button as hard as you can. <laughs> okay, so you can just SCI that for free. Good. I, I had a feeling you could. Like, there's no. Sakura knew what he was doing with that. Why? Okay, there's no way Sakura is, is just giving a DLC character a 10 hit combo from mashing A that does 50. Exactly. Yeah, you have to be able to SCI out of that for free. That is tragic. Sal is an idiot. <laughs> Zoom in. Headbutt. Oh, that crumples. So do all of his throats that have that zoom in? Yes. Well done. But it does like, it's a Tekken thing. Once you get that throat, it just, it just zooms in. Yeah, no, I know in Tekken it does that. So that's, that's fake, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be weird when I'm playing as one bracket. That's gonna tilt me if I'm getting like sauced right. by yeah, or by Kazuya. <laughs> that the fact that that kills is ridiculous. I mean, that is one of his better moves in the game too. Hey, elect, hey, uh, Wind God Fist wasn't electric though. Oh, his taunt hurts you. Well, they made one of his taunts as a weird like five a weird five a combo. Oh my god, that's so much damage. I'm just not used to that. You said they made his taunt a five hit combo. It's just like, he just does like punch, punch, kick, kick, punch. Does it, it and it hits? It hits, but it's like it's super slow and it's not even strong. Well, I mean, it's a taunt, I would hope so. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like that move sucks. Because Liam said or does it and then missed every laser after that if any two in a row. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, I need to see the Twitter combos. <laughs> oh, and he died for that. Oh, his Nair spikes. You said his Nair spikes? His Nair spikes. Oh my god. Well then. Now you can't do that to F Smash, because F Smash is way too strong. You can do that into Jab. Yes, you can. Right, he has activated his DLC power. We'll lose rates. <laughs> oh my god. That almost killed him. Bro, every time I see this character get a hit, if I see a combo, like a fighting game character combo, I'm just going to assume someone's going to die. Yeah. Okay, he's not dying in 10 hit. Oh, that F tilt? Since that the most ridiculous angle. That almost killed again. Alright, now he I'm has DLC healthy. cheats. That's the one that kills. The up B. He had a shield. That is that's so big. That's crazy. So is that 1-1 one, one now? No, it's 2-0. That's 2-0. Oh, my. <laughs> Wait, I have a song request. It's a song called Kitsch. New oh, New World Order bumps. New World Order's fire. But Kitsch. It's further up. It's from Tekken 4. There it is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. All right. So, third game of Kazuya did us. 
Yes, I mean, I kind of expected that the pass was going to drop right in the middle of our break. Ooh. Oh my god, he's playing Tekken. Oh my god. <laughs> playing easy mode on Tekken. Oh my god. Oh my god. And he's at 60. Dude, the sound effects from hitting his smash, from hitting that. Oh my god, I love it. Makes me like he's at 80. Oh, that's his that's that one of 30? His, yeah, that's one of his command grabs. Bro, that did that's 30 not. and kills Mac at zero. <laughs> Tiny ass laser. Yeah, that move is trash. That move is not stopping him from getting camped. Mm -mm. That move is kind of dog. That move is not zone breaking anything. It is dog. Like, absolute dog booty. Unless it beats, like, every projectile in the game. He didn't do it out of the ledge. Oh my god. That off smash is ridiculous. Ooh. Ooh. Meaty. Yeah, he's dead. Got him lacking and just punched him. Oh. Told you, there are spikes. I'm just trying to think of what I'm going to do when I have to fight a, a Kazuya, and I have no idea. You just camp him out with Sephiroth? I'm not touching Sephiroth. The character's stupid. Yes, he is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that is so whack. See, <laughs> there is the <laughs> clip on the ledge. I think I'm gonna have to limit camp. Did you say limit camp? Yeah. Cloud? Yeah. That can work. I'm playing Cloud Zero, so you know. Really? Yeah, Dark Pits Hogs. Huh? Yeah, Dark Pits Hogs. I started playing the Pits again. You're making a mistake. And you play Toon Link and you're still making a mistake. That's how crazy it is. I know. That's why I have Roy. Good. <laughs> Alright, watch it. Oh. Okay, so grabs are not the wave for killing with Kazuya. So shielding against Kazuya is good. Unless yes. you're gonna get mixed by command grabs, then don't shield against Kazuya. Or, yeah, Kazuya. Yeah, so I, just, I still need to figure out, like, what is combo? I mean, obviously, I'm guessing get that electric, and then. Then everything's sweet. A bash attack. At 200, sure, whatever, take it. Not <laughs> almost killed. That it kills. <laughs> told you, it cannot up you after you do side B on off stage. That F tilt is ridiculous. Bro. Then he has a back tilt. The amount of A's being pressed. You know what I, I thought it would've been, they could have done, which would have been cooler? What? If they made B kicks and A punches. That would have been pretty sick, but that would have been terrible for designing recoveries. Oh, absolutely. Still would have been pretty I didn't, sick, though. I didn't even think about that. Hey, Demon Uppercut. Oh. Crazy how the game is dead even. Oh, never mind. Oh. And he's dead. <laughs> and we're going on to game four. Game four. <laughs> this is not going to be a 3 0 in the Tekken Dittos. <laughs> and I still have no clue what's happening. <laughs> uh, New World Order. Tekken music, baby. The Tekken music is fire. We have a good selection of fighting game music for our fighting game now. It's a miracle. Hallelujah. <laughs> Daddy I never thought I'd see the day. Uh, if, you, if you told me like a year ago that we get Tekken music in Smash, I would say you're lying. Same. I did not expect this. I thought we were done with FGC characters after Terry. Me too. I'm not upset. This is like, this looks stupid. But it looks sick, so I'm okay with it. I'm probably gonna like hate him when I get like camped out and poked by one. But oh my god, oh he can act out of that. I'm gonna hate it when I die at 50 to one. Well, that too. See that angle? That angle is insane. 
Okay, I don't think limit camping is the wave, because I'm just going to die if I get hit by that of 40. <laughs> and that spikes by the ledge. Yeah, I'm going to be camping with my limits yeah. just so I'm forced to use it to recover. Up, up, oh. <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah. So this is what we're doing now. Got it. Get down. You want to come up here? No. <laughs> Literally said my no. Stage. <laughs> Literally, my stage. Don't do down to down to launches off like madman. Oh, something else Kazia has. If he rises from a crouch, right, and you press A. He has a move that sends you to a crumple state. Lovely. It is so great. Ooh. Okay. And wow. just get duffed. <laughs> boom. 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 <laughs> he just low profiled the laser with laser to punish with laser. That's crazy. <laughs> So that's what Kazuya mains are all going to do. They're going to try and just go to ledge and try to spike you down smash for your recovery until they get poked. What the? Oh. Quad of black. Liam really said, oh, I'm dead when he got command grabbed at 40. I mean... It, it, that's just how it goes when you get like touched by one of these see right now. This character is a prop that oh kills. My. Well, he was at a super high percent, but still. So kill confirms off your jab that are from continuing your jab. Nice, nice. Ooh. Oh. And <laughs> now he's at sixty. And he's off stage. No, he's at 70. He's... Yo. Oh, oh wait. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> it broke his super <laughs> armor. Bro. <laughs> it broke it. <laughs> the answer to Kazuya is Kazuya. It has been discovered already. <laughs> oh, my God. Kazuya! Kazuya! Kazuya's just a funny character. <laughs> Alright, I feel like Salad has an unfair advantage here because he's used to pressing A repeatedly. Because <laughs> of the pellets. I mean, we can play Salad. Yeah, but he has to jump in between his A presses. Hmm, good point. Came off the ledge with that. Also, Liam plays ages now. <laughs> Don't play. He's still mashing that eight foot. <laughs> not, you're not wrong. <laughs> At all. <laughs> oh God, a rage drive. Oh. <laughs> I'm just so baffled at this character. I'm just shot. I'm at a loss of words. I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, I genuinely don't know what I'm looking at. That almost killed. Yeah. Oh, my God. You can act that Okay, this laser is so bad. It is. Makes I sense. It. Makes sense. I believe it. That's the way from that. I mean, you're not going to die. It's going to take a match. Yeah, I was saying this earlier. I feel like he's going to play a lot like Melee Samus. And it sounds like he's going to be the one character that stays grounded and uses ground and normals and everything in the game where everyone jumps. I can see it. Yeah, because I don't think his arrows aren't all that. I mean, his forwarder is kind of good. But everyone else is going to be like doing juggles and stuff. He's going to be like, check out my ground combo. Yeah, he's going to be, hey, you can keep me in the air. I'm going to keep you on the ground. And I'm going to kill you for it. Because yeah. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna just punch you multiple times, and I'm gonna have to hold that. Ooh. 
That almost broke. That almost broke. That was Charles that broke. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he rolled. So didn't kill. Laser strat. Yeah, no, this laser is just not it. Uh, uh, uh. He just kept going <laughs> anyway! It's not gonna kill either. Oh god, oh, he might be dead. Ooh. No, I lied. Demon Africa, Demon Africa, Demon Africa. Or just F tilt, that works too. Yeah, just kick him out of here. Up tilt, not? Not that strong. Oh, Hold on, see it. And the upbeat attitude is what kills him. I'm upset. All right, so we have last stock at game five, set one of grands. <laughs> he rolled into it. And he gained the dead even. Ah. <laughs> oh. The laser. Oh. These lasers. So much damage. That move is ridiculous. So ridiculous in the, the game is from too. Uh, he's got his DLC power. Sal is not going to approach. He's going to stay back. He got lasers for this, and the DLC power is gone. That's and all right. we set have to reset. <laughs> so now is the real question: no Are we sticking way. to the Kazuya Ditto? We are not <laughs> sticking to Kazuya Ditto <laughs> after the reverse 3 0. The Janiko boy himself is folding <laughs> and is going to try hard. <laughs> they are now going to play on PS2 in Mega Man Ages. <laughs> <laughs> so we learned that Mario's Kazuya is sick. Salad's Kazuya is sick. Oh, uh, yo. Oh yo. All right. We're going to see how it actually. <laughs> All right, here's the thing though. This is Liam's first time playing with the Pyramithra nerfs. It's his first time playing with the nerfs. So even though the nerfs don't matter that much, he's gonna get sauce. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, wait, but what, what, what did they get nerfed by? I don't know. I, I, all I know is Liam told me it's probably not gonna matter. It doesn't seem like it does. Oh yeah, uh, Mithra's neutral B calculates weight now. Before it didn't, it would just kill you at the percent, no matter who you were. Oh. Now, now. Wait, that move is, that is racist. Oh my god. How is that racist? <laughs> that like move the is racist. No, that's everyone gets equal hands. No, I say it's racist because of how privileged that is. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> no, that's, that's pretty privileged. That's pretty stupid. But I mean, it's a DLC character. What are you expecting? <laughs> no idea. Oh, he's dead. See, he probably would have died to that pre patch, but it wouldn't have been weight dependent. <laughs> So this is my first time actually watching Liam play Aegis, like actually <laughs> watching it. Cause you know, I don't really watch Liam play a lot. Uh, all I really know about this character is uh, good normals and decent combos off of those good normals. What you should, oh my god, armor. What you should know that Mithra's speed is like ridiculously cracked. So she can like chase, see how she just dash guard saves and downs over them and he yeah. couldn't react to that. It's Squirtle and Zard. Yes. You can't side B and up B. Mm, got away from that. Dude, you should have down smashed him and spiked him. Oh my god. And it's just. This character can push all the buttons on you. You just kind of have to hold it. And then there's that. I see. So Mithra wins. <laughs> Mithra wins all the bread, right? <laughs> so Mithra, Mithra's the bread winner. Maybe playing the character that's been out for like an hour isn't the play in grand finals. <laughs> 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 what is in the Kazuya Discord that you have looked at that will help you win this set? Kazuya Korean backdashing. <laughs> yeah. All right. If Solid Korean backdashes in one of these games, he wins the tournament. That's it. It's over. He just wins. All right, Solid Korean backdash. Oh, this song is good. I forgot about this one. <laughs> Start the battle. Steve. 
Don't do that. Don't do that. You do any character other than that. It's up to you. Any particular character. Play Mega Man. <laughs> other than Mega Man, play Pac Man. <laughs> okay, wait, no, if you're asking to play Pac Man, then don't play Pac Man. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I thought he wasn't gonna be okay with playing Pac-Man. That's why I said Pac-Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and he just kept going with it. <laughs> oh my god! I can't wait for Thursday to see people pull out this character. <laughs> All right, who do we make Liam go next game? Hmm. We make him go. Hmm. We make him go. And he's at seventy. We make him go Ryu. Make him go Ryu. Nah, we gotta make him go Terry. Oh my god, that works. I thought I was about to carry him off stage, but they Why? were both gonna die. <laughs> he was really just messing up that hydrant. Beating up what on is that this thing. character. He's just decking the hydrant so hard. <laughs> <laughs> he has no jump. I mean, he has no uppy. I've been saying that. <laughs> literally said that like three times in this game alone. Oh my god. Wait, he can actually Pac Man. That's actually that's scary. So, wait, does Solid win the first set in the world with Kazuya? I think so. He's won the first official set with Kazuya. Yeah, I think Kazuya was the first, was the first one to win a set with Kazuya. That's great. <laughs> to win a grand final set with Kazuya. Yes. Oh, that yeah. one for sure. No one else. There's no way anyone else was able to play Kazuya in grands of their tournament and win. <laughs> and win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right, go like, Terry you get, now. You get Mario fighting game character, he just knows what he's doing. Liam, you heard? Go Terry now. Go Terry? Go Terry. Yes. Oh, Crouch dash? Oh, You're yes. playing a bigger masher! <laughs> oh, so, Salad. Salad. You're probably the first person in the world to win a tournament set with Kazuya. And if you're not, if you're not, you're the first person to win a grand set with Kazuya for sure. All right, so we are going to have Terry versus Kazuya now. <laughs> Liam was saying this is going to be free. Fair enough. Probably not. He probably has his editor working on one, but I don't know if it's up yet. He's probably out tweeting why Kazuya's horse. Maybe. I don't know. I can't. I don't <laughs> know where I put my phone. I'll never figure that out later. Alright, Korean backdash. No, up the other shield. <laughs> yeah, that is not a Korean backdash. Kazuya's Korean backdash is just him backing up. That's literally what this, his Korean backdash is <laughs> in this game. Ooh. So I don't know, man. I, I, when I said Kazu was uh, the master's paradise, not not not, to, not he. I don't know. 
No, he definitely still masters paradise. Cause you get to press A ten times in a row and get a fifty six percent or a forty eight percent combo. That's true, but then you have Terry. I mean, I think masters paradise. I think of someone like Terry. Okay, Terry also gets to mash, but uh, you have to think for your combo slightly. Yes. So you gotta think. <laughs> yeah, that forward tail cancel into any super is the thing. Yeah, that's, that's kind of wild. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I've literally seen Terry Eftel combo into every super he has. Or special he has. Oh yeah, that's Including cool. power dunk. That was a no cool DI when he got to that uh, Metal Blade back, to back air. <laughs> Ah, no good eye. I guess. That's one way to edge guard him. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's really getting gamed on. Oh, he almost got super ah! gamed on. <laughs> I was actually scared that F5. Uh oh, that's, that sounds a kill percent. Kill. He's gonna die. If he gets up tilt to near ledge, he dies. Or you can just you can Now if he just gets hit by something, he dies. Oh my god! And it kills! And now the game is almost even. <laughs> 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 I don't know how Kazuya's DLC privilege power works. He it's li it's limited, so he gets it, I think, once per stock, obviously. So once he hits 100, he gets Rage, I think it is. And then uh, it, it's only used for that Rage art. Oh, so he's just not getting it back. Yeah. <gasps> well, oh, boy. Yo, I was so scared he's going to get dunked. Uh, and dash attack? And yeah, that's, that's the it. tournament. That is it. <laughs> All right. So Liam may have won the tournament, but the real winner is Salad because he won the first tournament set ever with Kazuya. Make that a grand finals reset, And it was too. a grand final set. <laughs> and oh it was a reverse 3-0. God. <laughs>